Make sure everybody can see us and hear us okay. But I apologize, I got my other phone here. I know, I got two phones, it's ridiculous. But this is how I'm going to see the chat tonight. Um, Scott Argetsinger is here, general manager here at Dreamer. Scott, you th thank you so much for having me here tonight. Yes, sir. And really looking forward to talking to you about a few things, Dreamweaver-wise, fishing-wise. I know uh, I know you spend a lot of time on the water. So, a lot of time. Uh, probably, probably more than I do. Um, so <laughs> look forward to talking to him about fishing, Dreamweaver in general. I mean, look behind us. Look at the goodies behind us. We're in the... Uh, what do you call this room? This is a spin doctor room right The here. spin doctor room. There's not a better yeah, name for a room. Not a better name. <laughs> the spin doctor room. All right, I got to get through my ads here. All right, who do we got here? We got Dave Stanchewski. Oh, Pete Farmy, I think that says. Uh, Nick Padula's here. Kirk C's here. BMK's here. Cliff French. Andy K, Blind Osprey. Good to see you, Tim. Who else we got? M. Lige or Lit... Man, I don't know if I'm ever saying that right. <laughs> These, these poor people, they I destroy some of their names, and uh, they put up with it, so I appreciate that also. <laughs> that's Steve Eddie's here. A lot of familiar names, a lot of new names also. That's great to see all the new people. So if you are new here, my name's Chris. I run Dark Blue Charters in Manistee, Michigan. You're welcome to look that up if you want, darkbluecharters.com. Uh, take a look around there. Scott, dreamweaverlures.com. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for anything Dreamweaver, you hop on there and take a look at that. But I run a charter up in Manistee. Scott runs a charter also on yep. top of being the general manager here. We do a lot of videos on this channel. Well, really, they're all salmon fishing related videos. Uh, instructional stuff, how-to stuff, um, talking with people like Scott, who people know, people who know a lot more about things than I do. I, I know when I can be a host when I can be a comment or a commentator and a host, and tonight I'm a host because I get I get to talk to somebody like you, so I'm happy for that. But uh, damn, yeah, that's for sure. Well, thank you, appreciate yeah. that, man. But yeah, we do a lot of stuff on this channel. If you want to check out the channel, please feel free to do so. Couple housekeeping things, real quick, before we get going. I, I don't want to miss chats, but um, Jason C is here, Jeff Duffs is here. Mandy Argus Singer is here. Oh, of course, yeah. Who who would that be? I, I want do you know her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think my wife's here also. Hugh Merrill just did a super chat for five bucks. I don't. I normally have a reel that I reel whenever I get a super chat donation. I don't have a reel. I'd probably dig one up here somewhere. You probably could. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Huey, thank you so much for the super chat. I owe you a super chat reel in the future. I'm not gonna do a dance or anything. I have, you definitely don't want me to do a dance. You don't want me to sing either. Um, Teresa Flanders is here. Pat Enos is here, says hello. Oh. And I uh, Pat. Bill Gerlock, man. Jason Wilkerson, a lot of people here. <laughs> Jason's walking <laughs> watching Salmon Showdown. Oh, nice. Get, uh, I do that every <laughs> year. I do that every year. Um, pick up a lot of good stuff on there. Oh, no doubt. There's a lot of good teams on there. There is, yes. Um, I'm sure you know most of them. Yeah. Um, I know quite a few. But yeah, every year around this time of the year, I start doing the same thing. I start watching Salmon Showdown. Uh, so Salmon Showdown. I think you can only find it now on Carbon TV. It's not on YouTube anymore, and obviously right. um, Salmon Showdown doesn't do their own production anymore. But yeah, if you go on Carbon TV, you can find it there. So, mm -hmm. what else we got? Ryan Purchase here, Dreamweaver, my boys, my <laughs> my neighbors. <laughs> I guess he lives close by, but. Uh, Good to see everybody. Thanks for being here. A couple housekeeping things before I start talking with Scott about all things Dreamweaver. Um, first off, merchandise. If you guys are looking to get your hands on any of the merchandise, Scott, I got you some, and I got yep. the. I know you I got your shirt. You don't, you don't have show of it. I'm wearing it. Yeah, <laughs> you are. No, no shirt. I thought fit you better than the "Don't Touch the Drag" shirt. Yes, that is one thing charter captains do not like. <laughs> Very true. And some are more vocal than others about it. But, yes, uh, yes. That shirt fit you to a T. In fact, I think even I thought about you when I made that shirt. But uh, there's a lot of cool things on there. There's shirts. There's um, stickers. There's hoodies. Zip up hoodies. Check it out. The easiest way to find it. Um, go to my website, darkbluecharters.com. Go to the merchandise page on there and just click right there, and it'll take you right to it. So, uh, what else did I need to talk about tonight? It seemed like there was something else. It was totally slipping my mind, so I apologize. What a great host I am, huh? <laughs> well, well prepared. That's, uh, that's Tangle Tackle YouTube in a nutshell. Wow. Well, well prepared. Well prepared. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're going to do tonight. Um, Scott and I, are, we're going to talk. Uh, I, I got some things that... Uh, well, we got some things we definitely want to talk about Dreamweaver-wise. Uh, Dreamweaver 
We even have some new things to show some people. We do. We um, got some that, new products for this year that uh, yeah. we're just going to leak out to you guys. Uh, they're not available yet, but they they will be soon. Yes. Yep. So that's the big thing. You guys are getting the world premiere of the new Dreamweaver products for 2022 right here. They're not ready yet, but you can get your eyeballs on them at least, and you can figure out yes, how many of each you're going to want to have. Because <laughs> I know... I'm looking at a couple there. I know I'm going to have quite a few of them. Yeah. So, you know, last year was, um, what was it, the A-bomb last year? Yes. And the yeah. Carbon. Um, the, yeah, the DW Carbon. The DW Carbon. That yeah. A-bomb for me, that was a nightmare to fish for, for about a month's time. Guys, great if, spoon. Oh, that's a great spoon. If you don't have the Dreamweaver A-bomb, I'm telling you right now, get your hands on that thing. Mm -hmm. That thing on a 10 color almost every morning took multiple fish. Yeah. What a great spoon. All right, what else am I missing here? Not much. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk Dreamweaver stuff. We're gonna show you some spoons. You're gonna get to ask any questions that you want to. We're here to answer them. Well, Scott's here to answer them more, right, right. well, more than I am. And then at the end, we got a special surprise for you. So don't tune out, wait till the end. You're gonna like uh, what we got for you. I know I like, I wish I could, I'm not going to give it away, but I, uh, you're going to be excited to see what that is. So let's talk about you, Scott. Uh, first off, you know, tell me a little about yourself. Well, I've been, uh, I've been on the Great Lakes for, well, huh, gosh, 35 years. 35 years. I've been, uh, I started out mating here in Ludington. I fished out of Ludington, Manistee, Onakama. Um, I know all three ports very well. Yeah. Um, been a charter captain for seven years. I've been here for, this will be my 13th year in February. Oh, wow. So I've yeah. been here for a long time. Okay. Um, know everything there is to know about Dreamweaver. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. you know, at least before, at least since I've been here. Right. <laughs> I know everything, but. Well, I know if yeah. I have, ever have a question on a, on a product that you guys, you're my number one, my number one go-to without a doubt. You fished um, some of the best boats I know around. Yes, also. I've uh, up until last year I fished with Paul Shafley on Riverside for yeah. uh, six years. Yeah, um, it was a we were a great pair. Um, you guys fished were. very well together. Yeah, uh, love Paul. He's a great guy. Um, he sends me trips uh, for my boat. I know he probably does the same for yep, you if he he's does. he's booked. He's always booked. Yeah, um, but great guy. Learned a lot. I know he learned some stuff from me as well. Oh yeah, we all. But uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's just another person to learn from. Yeah. You know, and Paul's been doing it for you know thirty five years. I mean. Oh yeah, all of that. There, you know, I mean, he's he's uh, one of the best well known captains there is. So. Yeah, I, great I, guy. I completely agree. And I've said that in the past. Um, what makes a good boat? I always think it's, it has to do with the, the captain and the first mate. Their, exactly. Their, their relationship. Yep. Uh, because a good first mate is just absolutely paramount when it comes to, yes. a, to a boat. And uh, I got a couple guys that run on my boat. And it's just nice. You know, if I'm thinking about something and I turn around, they're normally already doing it. Yeah. They're reading my mind somehow. <laughs> yeah. But I never have to worry about, you know, are we going to change out that bait? Are we going to pull that bait? They're normally doing it before me. Yep. Every one of them can handle a net probably better than I can. Um, every one of them can help a customer. Yeah. That really that makes is a good the, boat. Yes, that is precisely. I mean, if you got a first mate that works with that well with you when you're reading your, your yeah. mind, that's that's the way me and Paul were. Right. Um, we'd always be thinking, you know, yep, we're going to try this lure, and he'd go to grab it, and I'd already be putting it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, or vice versa. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, there you go. I'll go yeah. looking for the lure, and I'd be like, where's my <laughs> such and such? And I look over to my mate, and he's like, it's on my downrider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I get yeah. it. Okay, good call. And if you can have somebody run the boat just as good as you, I mean, it's... Yeah. That's, that's, that's just it. I mean... I, customer I get, service is, is what we're there for. Right, right. Know. That, that's just it. I, I think it, if you took the captain away, could the first mate run the boat? The, yes. Like in your case, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. In my case, a couple of my guys too. Yeah. yeah without a doubt. And that's, what you, and that's what you want. You want somebody that will help you no matter what. Yeah. Because you never know what's going to happen, you know, with right. you know, something. I mean, you, you might need them. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's just one uh, of the that's things. Good. That's a good way to put it. You but uh, we got a little off topic there for a second, but uh, I just wanted to talk about that because I know that you and I share that same opinion. 
But Dreamweaver, um, been around since what, the early 90s or so? Early 90s, I think, yeah. Yeah, so how, um, how this Just before whole, I got here, you know, so. how this whole thing come into play? Any idea? Um, from what I understand, Roger Bogner is the one that started it. Okay. Um, he, uh, he fished with um, Pete Rubianis, which, great fisherman. Yeah. Was probably known as one of the best, if not the best, on the Great Lakes. Right, I've heard that. Not only Lake Michigan, but everywhere yeah i mean he was very good um won a lot of tournaments but he enlisted his help on to developing like the spin doctor our mag spoon our dw spoon right uh the ss came a little bit later on i think um before i don't pete might have had something to do with it but i'm not 100 percent sure okay um but um yeah i mean it's uh the spin doctor um I mean, it's probably the well-known flasher on the Great Lakes. Now, uh, probably so. the, 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 yeah, the yeah. pinnacle. You talk yeah. about a spin doctor. If you're a fisherman, you're going to know what a spin doctor yes. is. You're not going to think about the band from the 90s. No. You're going to no. think. You you're going to you're gonna know what it is. I mean, if, you're, yeah. if you fish the Great Lakes, you have these on your boat. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So the spin doctor itself, the design, well, that, do you know anything about how that design came to be? I do not know how it came to be. I just know uh, they wanted something that looked like a fish. And that was what they came up with. It does look like a fish. I mean, yeah. if you look at it. Yep. But uh, yeah, and for those of you, if you don't know what a spin doctor is, what we're talking about, it's an attractor here, obviously, used on the Great Lakes. Scott, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question because I get this all the time. Two holes on the back. What are they used for, and why are they there? The the reason why they're there is because some people like more action. Mm -hmm. uh, we always put it in the first hole here. By the fence. Every every time yep. is what we, we package it at, and that gives you the most action. Right. That'll give you the biggest rotation on your fly. Right. If you put it on this side, it gives you a smaller rotation on your fly, mm -hmm. not as aggressive. Yep. Absolutely, because the way that thing rotates with the fins, yep. obviously, the bigger the circle, the more action you're getting. The two holes in the front, same thing. It gives you more action on the... Uh, if you use the back hole... It's really aggressive. It turns very fast. Right. Yeah, it's a bigger loop. Yes, yeah, bigger loop. Yep, yeah, much bigger loop. So I, I get that question all the time. Which holes should I use? And I, I set it up the same way yeah. as you. I always go with the fins. We always package them that way. I mean, and we always put the swivel in the front because that's the way it seems to work best for everybody. Right. And that's that's what we want. You know, right. we want somebody to be able to take it out of the package and be able to run it and catch fish. Yep. I mean, that's, that's what we're here for. And they do catch fish. Yes, Absolutely. They do. So, um, for those of you who do not know, there's three different kinds of spoons that you guys produce. Could you tell us about the different sizes? Um, we have the SS. We actually have, come to think of it, we actually have the WD, the SS. Oh, yeah, you do have four. Yes. Um, the Fuzzy Bear line, mm -hmm. we have that as well, which right. are two different kinds of spoons. Uh, the DW and the Mag, uh, we have a Fuzzy Bear, Fuzzy Bear Mag. Um, you got a bunch of options. We do. We yeah. do have a lot of options for different fishing. Right. So if you were, say, you're just getting into the sport, uh, you're you're you go to your tackle shop. Hopefully, you go to Tangle Tackle. Um, but if you don't, if you get still, if you go to your tackle shop, you're looking for a spoon. What would you recommend, like right out of the box? If you if you would you get the Super Slim SS? I would. Would, would you get the Mag yes. or would you get the regular? The SS is probably our most versatile spoon for right. speed wise. Yeah. Um, it's most most speed forgiving, and what that means is you control that thing at any speed, and it'll work. Right. Um, our mag is a little bit more for faster trolling. Mm -hmm. um, seems to work best at about between two six to two eight. Mm -hmm. um, our DW spoon, same way. You can take it out of the box, run it at a slow speed, and it still works. Um, it really doesn't like to get past probably about one eight. <laughs> yeah, and, and it usually slows down quite a bit. Right. Um, but the SS, you can run that from, I mean, we've got guys that run it for walleyes. Oh, absolutely. Um, so, I mean, they're running it at 0. 0.8. And, and you're still having, you know, great results with and that. And it's not just a king spoon either. I mean, no. I've caught lake trout, steelhead. Yes, I mean, kings, you can catch anything. Walleye, on. yeah. I've, I've caught um, sheepshead. Yes. Yeah, you'll catch anything on yes. that thing. You catch you, northerns, you catch, I, I, I mean. No, I was going to say, I have no doubt I could take that thing into an inland lake by troll pike and well, I with it, and I'd probably catch fish all day. Yes, I I've think, done that with. I've done that on PM Lake. Um, green dolphins, they love them. Right in there for some reason. Right. I don't know why. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you tell me one time you actually took some down to Mexico too? Yes, I yeah. take uh, our mag spoon down to Mexico because we troll very fast. I'll be leaving 
this week actually to Mexico. Oh, you poor guy. You know, and uh, <laughs> we'll be we'll be bringing a lot of stuff down there for that for yeah. our captains down there. But it works down there also. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of lot of videos that they uh, of of us down there fishing with them. Mahi mahi, I think you said just destroy. We've them. caught mahi mahi. We've caught tuna. We've caught rooster fish, Jack nice. Caval, um, Sierra. I mean, you name it, we've caught it on them. I mean, I've tons of pictures. Um, we've even caught a uh, um, flounder on it before. Wow. <laughs> also, I guess, I guess I mean, that tells you what a versatile spoon that yes, super yes. slim is. So if you if if you hear us say SS or super slim, that's the same spoon. It's the the second smallest one that you have. It is, yeah. The smallest one we have is a WD spoon, which yeah, is a walleye. Yeah, that's walleye yeah. specific. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm going to let you in a little secret here. Sometimes I'll grab those DWs or those walleye spoons. I'll run them on a slider. Yes. And they, they work catch, very well. They catch fish. Especially in, the, especially in the fall when the cohos are here. Yep. And we're talking a spoon. Now, this is a, I mean, that's an SS right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're talking uh, a spoon that's even smaller than that. And I'm talking about just on a free slider on my downrigger. There's times that, uh, and my my good friend and uh, YouTube uh, partner Jim turned me onto that. Yes. One, one day in a tournament, he goes digging through his box. He goes, I'm going to try this, and he put on. I mean, you can see that thing. You can see just how it's not very big not at all. Not very big. Nope, not very big at it's all. It's like three and a quarter inches. I mean, it, or not even that. I no, mean, it's, it's, two, it's two and a half. I think is what yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd say so. And Jim put that on a free slider on the downrigger, and it was boom, Works boom, boom. Very well. It was game on. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. there, if nothing, if that doesn't get you hit the like button, that little super secret insider on that one, nothing, nothing will. will yeah. Nothing will. But that, <laughs> That's something that our charter captains do not tell very many people. Well, I do. <laughs> Everybody's going to hate me now. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, I just help us all more. So. <laughs> I, I had a phone call tonight uh, about our charter, and the guy said, hey, and I apologize, I don't mean to go off on a left turn here, but he says, hey, you know, I'm a fisherman also. Is it okay if I learn, ask questions when you're on your boat, uh, when I'm on the boat? I said, my Absolutely, God. Absolutely, yes. Please do. And I said, my friend, I got a YouTube channel. I mean, if there's no, if there's nobody else out there, that's, <laughs> I'm probably the most information sharing person there is. Yes. So yeah, I love it when people come on yes. and yep. ask questions. It's always good to have people on there that know what they're doing. Yeah. It helps you it helps your charter go along a lot oh, better. Yeah. yeah. Um I mean it can be it can be trying for yeah. <laughs> yeah. For people like us that been doing it their whole lives. Yeah. I mean, you know, and watch somebody try to reel in a fish that it, the, it's tough for them. Yeah. Then they have a hard you time. Know, and and yeah. you try to do what you can to help them. You know, and hopefully we get it into the back of the boat. I mean, we'll do whatever we can to try to get it. Oh, absolutely. For them. Yeah, if you come on my boat, you come on Scott's, please ask questions. At, yeah. Yes, we, we, you know, we always encourage it. Yeah. I mean, you know, we used to have a checklist on Paul's boat of all the questions that ask the return. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. how far is it across from what boat or right. from Wisconsin? So, yep. what's the limit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how soon do we get a limit? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What's the deepest part of Lake Michigan? Yeah. You know, that's we get that one. all the time. Yeah. That's yeah. another one. Um, anyway, we had to take a left turn. <laughs> yeah. So, super slim spoons. I mean, if you look, if you think about it in the three categories, we can break it down the easiest way super slim, standard, and mag. Yes. Super slim, smallest. Standard, medium, mag, the biggest one. Yep. And I know the mag does like a high speed. It does, yeah. No. It's a little bit heavier of a spoon. Um, our Fuzzy Bear mag actually is a little yeah. bit lighter of a blank. It is. And um, that's, that was, that's more, yes, yeah. that is very good. That is more speed forgiving. Um, we're hoping in the future to come out with a super slim mag. Okay. So um, kind of like an intermediate size? Yep. That's a good um, idea. Try to, you know, compete a little bit with, uh, no, with that's the Stingray. A good, that's a good idea. Is that Stingray, you know, I mean... Everybody knows it's a, oh, it's sure. a great spoon. It is. Um, um, so one time I will switch to, even if I'm getting bit on my super slims, one time I'll switch to mags and uh, just get your opinion on this. If I'm cleaning fish and I see giant size alewives in there, yep. I like putting more mags Yeah, she should, yep, she should yeah. run the bigger baits. Because yeah. yep. that's what they're feeding on. You try to know what they're feeding on. Match the hatch. Yep, yep. match that, the hatch, exactly. That, that's a term that I've heard for decades and decades. Yep. And guys, gals, that's a, that's a great tip also. If you're, if you're cleaning your fish, and your whatever size alewife or bait fish you're fighting in there, try to match that. If they are the smaller fish that you're fighting in there, super slims, of course, yep. um, standards maybe. Yep. But if you're finding the big giant alewife like we've had, the yeah, last, the last few couple years, of years, yeah, yeah, they've been huge. I've been running more mags the last couple of years just based on what I saw in the bellies. Yep. So 
keep an eye on that. Pay attention to that. It, it'll tell you a story. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah. yeah. All right, so spin doctors, spoons, meat rigs. Meat rigs. You guys got a ton of them. We do. We have, uh, I believe there's 18 different colors. Okay. Um, they're all hand tied um, by by the people here. Right. Um, I'm actually the one that actually ties the teasers for <laughs> for the ones that need to be tied. He does too. I know uh, that this is my a desk is full of them upstairs right now, and I do it in between orders that I can I can do and. It's, uh, yeah, I know it's true because many times I've come over here and you're sitting in a pile of yeah, teasers yeah. up there, you know, and your fingers are all tore up yeah. from time. Yeah, up, but yeah, you always get glued, you know, get glued somewhere. Right. You know? <laughs> so meat rigs in general, I mean, great fish catching tool. Yes. Um, I tend to think of them more late, later in the year. Later in the year, yep. But uh, I mean, you can you can catch fish on them early on, sure. but mostly it's uh, you get past probably June. Yeah. And, you know, and we start fishing them. Right. Now, is there any meat rigs that you would recommend for early, or not early spring, but springtime in general? Um, I pretty much, everything we got works very well. As long as the big kings are there, that's, that's mm -hmm. what you're going to catch on them, whereas mm -hmm. the bigger kings, uh, most of the time, you're, you know, your smaller fish, a lot of times you're going to get them on spoons more yeah. than, yeah. or more, that's what I find anyways. Yeah. I catch more of the smaller ones on spoons. Lake trout, even in the spring, will we'll gravitate towards meat rigs yes. also. Yeah. Every now and then we'll get a few lake trout on, on a meat rig that we have out there. Um, I think I remember yeah. years back you told me, <clears throat> excuse me, in the springtime, blue. Blue is a great color. Yes, blue is a great color for the springtime for here. Um, also, your brighter colors are very good for the springtime mm -hmm. here. Uh, your oranges, your yellows, your you right. know, your greens, you know, I mean, the brighter the better a lot of times in the spring because right. your water's a little bit more dirty Absolutely. Than, than what it what it will be later yeah. on in the year. One of my favorite spoons that you guys create is the Buffalo Bill in the springtime. Mm -hmm. Real flat, you know, green on the one side, almost like a antifreeze green on the one side. Yep. Flip it over and it's just this bright in your face orange. Yes. And we just destroy Lake Trot on that thing yep. every spring. Such a good spoon. They use it a lot down on the southern end of the state, down by St. Joe. Yeah. For like the cohos and stuff. Yes. They love it down yeah. there. They actually have a Buffalo Pill tournament. Yes, they in do. Indi in Indiana down there. Yep. And, yeah. You're absolutely right. So if you're if you being Dreamweaver Guru could have five meat rigs on the boat that you guys create. What's your top five? Starting at five. Starting at five. Or no, go, go from one up if you want. My Probably my number one meat rig is probably um, the Pickled Sunshine rig. Yeah, All right, hands down. I mean, you know, that one followed by the Kevin's Girlfriend one. Yes. Um, I'm looking for a certain spin up, but go ahead, Scott. I'm but, uh, you know, the green um, UV, that one's another one. Always a staple. Um, the clear UV on a bright sunny day with yeah. a clear, with yep. a UV blade. Yep. Hard to beat. Uh, whatever it is with the sunlight, with that that UV, I mean, just makes it sparkle. Oh, double slick way up there. Yep. I was thinking the pickled sunshine. Yep. I mean, that like is double the, slick. Yep. That is the pickle rig. That is. Yeah. That yeah. is. You know, if, if you hear anybody talking about it on the radio, or which no nobody talks on the radio hardly anymore. <laughs> no, they don't. But uh, I mean, if you ever hear about it, that's what it rig. is. It's yep. a, it's a white slick uh, with a pickle. <laughs> I wish I could get that done. If you look on Dreamweaver's website, it is the double pearl, correct? Yes. It is uh, 70022. You got the grabber. Yeah. There she is. Guys, gals, that thing right there has put probably, if not, well, it's, it goes it's, out every day. I can't say it's put the most fish in my boat, but it is right up there. It goes out every day for me. Absolutely. I'm a high diver. I know Shane runs it as well. Yep. High diver. Um, yep. Yep. All the time. All the it's, time. It's out every day. Either with just the pickled sunshine fly itself yep. or with the pickled sunshine meat. I always rig. run one with a meat rig, one with a yeah, one with a fly. Yep. I mean it's just on both sides. Yeah. One on each, one on each <laughs> yeah. side. Yeah. Do you oh. find out what they want to bite on? Oh I absolutely. Mean, you know, that's yep. that's the biggest thing. And the great thing about this, this uh, certain spin doctor, I mean it's got that really nice um, pearl tape on there. That pearl tape glows. glows yes. It glows. Mm -hmm. So this thing is fantastic. You can throw this thing out early in the morning before the sun is up. And you can leave it out. Yeah, you can leave it out. It'll actually work all day long. It will. Yeah, I, I can attest to that. That thing right there, almost just like you, it's almost yeah. always out there. It's always out, yeah. <clears throat> so that's a good list of, of meat rigs. That's a really good list of meat <laughs> yeah. rigs. It's, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's by far our favorite. 
um, on my boat. I mean, it's, it's Paul's too. Yeah. Um, he probably uses more of the Riverside a lot sure. too as yeah. well, but I know he uses Pickled Sunshine Great. flies they're, all the time. They're almost essentially the same. Thing. Yes. Yeah, one's got a bullet one's head. One's got a bullet head, one doesn't. Yeah, that's just it right there. But you know, they both catch but fish. But same material. Um, I, I did that to you on meat rigs. I got to do it to you on spin doctors. <laughs> Your top five. Uh, of course, Kevin's girlfriend. You Kevin's know, I mean, girlfriend. That's, that's probably my number one besides the 22. Let's see if I can um, find that now while you're talking. Is that one? Is that it there? No. no that that's one green is purple. 302. It is not up there. Okay. But if you look in that box right there, there's one in that box. Yeah. Very nice. But, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Looky there. Kevin's girlfriend. Yeah. Everybody knows the Kevin's girlfriend. Yep. Yep. That's been, uh, that's a staple. I mean, yep. That we saw probably the, more of that one than we do any other one. Two fish over 30 pounds on my boat last year, both on a Kevin's girlfriend with pickled sunshine fly. Well, one was a Riverside. One was a Riverside. Yeah, yep. one was pickled sunshine. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the year before that, we had three over 30 pounds. One was on Kevin's girlfriend with, nice. a, with a pickled sunshine fly. I mean, you can't go wrong there. Nope. So we got Kevin's, Kevin's girlfriend, girlfriend, the yep. white slick. Double slick. Yep. I like to run the froggy later in the year. Yes. Yeah. Um, I like. I love that one. I do too. Um, the chrome killer is another one. That's a good one. That's one that I just got turned on to in the last maybe four years or so. Yep. That's been a staple on for me and Paul for years. Yeah. For the last couple of years. I mean, we run it and live wire. Yes, yeah. Live wire with a meat rig with that yeah. green gas meat or green mile meat rig. Green mile, green gas, yeah. Um, that green moo. Yes. Um yeah. I, there's numerous ones for that one. Yeah. Um I actually I tie up a rig specific for that. That um mm -hmm. that spin doctor yeah. and that's what I run on the boat. Okay, so Kevin's girlfriend, double slick, froggy. Froggy. Chrome Killer. Chrome Killer. What was the other one? The other one would be, <clears throat> if I was to wager, I guess, would be the Chrome Frog. Uh, this one right here. There you go. That's a good one, too. Just can't go wrong with them colored patterns. You can't. I mean, it gets, it's good with numerous different flies. Yeah. Um, you know, you can run anything with it, and it catches fish. Flies, um, meat rigs. Yep. Yeah, either one. That's probably one of our, probably our second to third best seller. Yeah. Is that one? Yeah, that's a real good. So I'll tell you a funny story on. I won't say who this was because you know him. <laughs> I know him. But I'm. <laughs> the end of the year last year, I was fishing with another charter captain on his boat, and uh, the fishing was slow to say the least. But we did have a couple bites, and I asked him after the first bite we had. I said, uh, "What what rig is that on on your side? I'm running one side, and his first mate's running on our side." He said, "Oh, that's the uh, the Fat Nancy." The Fat Nancy rode Fat Nancy, yep. And I said, oh, really? I said, okay. I, kind of, it, it, I didn't say anything, but I didn't, think he, I didn't think it was right. Anyway, they bring the fish in, and I look at it, and I go, uh, it's this. Yes. It's a frog. That's what everybody knows that blade as, is the Fat Nancy. And Fat Nancy is a sport shop out in New York. New York, I yes. think it's in Pulaski, I believe. Oh, you're right. I think it is. Um, I, we saw a lot of stuff to them, but that was one color that they wanted um when i first started mm -hmm. i mean that was it was a color they wanted for a long time yeah hey, <laughs> but he, that's why it's called the fat nancy he throws it back out there and we get another bite on it i go what ring is that so that's the fat nancy i go that i'm never calling you again in the morning to see how you're doing because you don't even know the right name the right of, name of the stuff yeah so, so you'll be looking the, through your phone going where's the fat nancy at you know? so, all the years that we shared information, uh, he'd probably tell me to run a, a fireball spoon, and he probably meant, uh, he probably meant like a two-face or two something. Face, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? But I got I to gotta check out of that, and I still tease him about it to this day. All right, so that's a really good list right there yes. on the spin doctors. I mean, that was that. if you're going to catch fish, them are the five blades that you're probably yeah. going to catch them on. Yeah, I completely agree with that one right there. I absolutely love that thing. So uh, we're going we're gonna to answer this this question. Okay. Who is Kevin's girlfriend? That was the first mate out of Ludington. Um, he had that blade with him. We never used to call it that until we actually started making it. Um, he worked for George Freeman, mm -hmm. which is another great charter captain out of George Ludington. Is, George I mean, is he guy. is he is a great, he gives a great fishing report every day he goes out. He does. Um, just a great fisherman as well. 
very knowledgeable. He's another one that's been doing it for years. Yeah. But um, his first mate, Kevin, took it. I guess he used to stay on the boat. <laughs> he had that blade <laughs> with him. He kept catching fish on it. Everybody was wondering what he was catching fish on. He took it to bed with him. That's how it got the name. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that there was some, uh, some intimate things. That was, uh, <clears throat> that was, that's the true story with it. Right. Is what it is. Right. So, and yeah. that's the story I've always heard also. <laughs> so if you've been wondering out there, who the heck is Kevin's girlfriend? That's actually one of the shirts that are on, yes. on my yeah. merchandise store. <laughs> it says, who the heck is Kevin's girlfriend? That is the background yes. on that thing. And, and you, that's the story. You couldn't, have, you couldn't have got a better slogan for a t-shirt. No, I know. <laughs> that, I know. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Because everybody asks us. That was another one of our number one charter Who's questions. Kevin's girlfriend? Who's Kevin's girlfriend? Then you guys, and you got to pull it out. Sometimes I, I tell the story. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes <laughs> I tell people you got to go research it yourself. Yeah. Just ask the right people. But yeah. yeah. Definitely. All Not right. Not many people know the, the true story. But that is right. that is the true story yeah. of how it got named. Yep. He's right. <laughs> I, that's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's right on that. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's the story I've heard from everybody who's in the know. Who's in the know, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, spin doctors, meat rigs, top flies, top flies, pickled sunshine's number, number one. one. Yeah. Um, his next one would be um, the forty-seven, the um, Mountain Dew fly. Oh yeah. Yep. That one by far. I mean, if I'm not running a pickled sunshine, I'm running that one. That's a good fly. Um, just your regular standard Mirage, mm -hmm. the yellow Mirage yep. is, is very good. Um, it was very good last year for us, yes. uh, especially on paddles and stuff. Yeah, um, I know on that one right there, that's a good yes. fly to run on that blade right there. Yep, yeah. that is a good one. Um, green Crinkle, of course. Yeah, can't go wrong with the Green can't Crinkle. Can't go wrong with Green Crinkle. I mean, it, it catches fish no matter what. That, that and, the, and the Pickled Sunshine are probably my top two. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, though if if it's not a pickled sunshine out there on something, it's normally the green crinkle going. Yep. Yeah. Uh, another one that I use also is um, the green bubble, which is oh, okay. a lot of people. I don't know if they just don't know enough about it. It's kind of like the pickled sunshine. It just has silver in it instead right. of glow. You know. The, okay. So that's a new one for me. I don't think I've ever run that fly. Very good fly. Um, the other one would be Aqua Sparkle. Yeah. That is another one. Liquid, um, liquid sunshine, too. Yes, that's just a pickled sunshine with it a is. yellow bee. Yep, yep. That's I mean, really you know, all it is. Yep. Yep. And, I, you know, if you're like me, we like to change up our color of our beads more than... Oh, yeah. Um, I was always told never use the same color all the way down. I, I don't. Always, yeah. always Very, you know, yeah. put a different color in there, or like yellow or yeah. red or... Yeah. I mean, you'd be surprised what red bead shows up with, with a green fly and how good it works. Absolutely. <laughs> you know? And that's why I run the uh, the pickled sun. Well, really, all your flies, I run them what is considered backwards. Yes. With the with the, with the red showing. showing. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, that's another question that I get yep. pretty often. And my people look at my flies on the videos and they go, "Are you running that fly backwards?" We were told that you run it the other way, so the thread is not shown. Right. That's why you're supposed to run them. Yeah. But Everybody I know runs it with the thread out. Yeah, that's the way I run it, and I've also and that red thread I think actually does. It shows a little bit more in the water. I mean, you can pick it up as soon as it goes into the water. You can see it. Yeah, I think it does lend to some bites. Mm -hmm. I, no doubt about it. But speaking of beads, yeah, my my normal bead standard setup is two V yellows on top, and I run ten millimeter beads. Mm -hmm. That's um, how you do as well. Yeah, two UV yellows on top, and then three greens on the bottom UVs. Uh -huh. I usually do my odd beat is in the center. Okay. I usually either do a red, a yellow, a glow. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's usually all green beads. Usually, it's usually two green beads, a glow bead, two green beads. Yeah. That, and it seems like every boat I go on has a different way that they do. Yeah. It. And as long as it works for you, I mean, who cares? Right. Right. And <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, if you run them all the same, it's gonna work for you. Yeah. I mean, it's just something different to try. And it works. And I've had those days where that one is going and the yeah, other one is not. I mean, it, exactly you know, right. And then you go to tie up another one and you tie it up the exact same way and it starts working. Yep. And I've always said so that in past videos, don't don't throw something away if it's working. Right. You know, keep your <laughs> keep those rigs together. Yes. Put them. You know, keep them together. Put them someplace in the boat where they're not going to get dismantled. 
your your mate or your buddy or your yeah. wife or your girlfriend or your your husband is going to grab that thing and like oh, let's put something new on there and the, you're just like no no don't <laughs> do that i think on my boat um when it comes to like spin doctor fly or meat rig combos probably 15 to 20 um that just absolute staples on yeah. my boat and they stay and together. they stay there yeah they stay together yeah we actually you know i mean on Paul's boat, I had a drawer. Yeah, I know. That you was guys. all of our I've seen your drawer. That was all of. Uh, I'm sure it's not there now. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably at the top now. Yeah. But, I was fishing uh, with, with Paul one time. To, I opened up a drawer. He goes, "Oh, that's Scott's drawer. Don't touch that." Yeah. I said, okay. I just, <laughs> yeah. I just closed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's just it's one of those things. If you get a rig that's working, especially you get the right bend on your head, yeah, your meat head. That is a that is a big thing. If you get one that's actually tuned, yes, correctly. Yeah. Yeah. It will catch fish. Absolutely. And just some combos work better than others. Yep. And it's every day is different, of course. And, you know, that's the hardest thing to figure out. People, I get that question quite often is, what should I run on this day? And uh, I say, I have no idea. You know, like your darker days, you know, they always say sure. you run your darker baits. Yeah. And it's it's opposite of what you think it would be. Mm -hmm. um, and this is something that's been told to me for years, yep. you know. Dark days, dark baits. Light days, light baits. Yep. Bright days, bright baits. You know, I yeah. mean, it's just it's just one of those. You know, if you're gonna get out there before dark or before daylight, like we do. Yeah. I mean, everything glows. Yeah. It, 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 early in the morning, it's always a glow pattern yeah. of some kind. And I do like having things like like that double yeah. slick that I don't have to go back and change later right. on because it's gonna keep. That's working. something you can just leave out. Yeah. You know, I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it doesn't go within the first half an hour. Right. I will pull it off. Right. And going back to what we were talking about, you know, with, with rigs that work, you keep them together. Yeah. If I catch one fish on it, it gets my attention. Yep. When I get two to five fish on yes. it, then it starts. That's something. Then I got yep. something going. And I'm going to, I'm probably going to take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to measure it. <laughs> yep. And I'm going to put it someplace and, and make fly it. And fly yeah. lead length is critical. It is. Yeah. Um, and we try to, when we do our flies on our, our packages, we always try to keep it around three feet. Yeah. And uh, I mean, the way I measure mine is right by my arm. That's the way I do it too. I think <laughs> I, I got I it actually, from you. Yeah, I actually yeah. hook it onto the end of my finger and I, I just run it up yep. there and it seems to be the perfect length for me. Yeah, it works for me too. And um, I know numerous people that do the same thing. I know one guy that he'll sit there and put it on the ground and he holds it right at his chin. Mm -hmm. And it, it's all in your own, how fast you're going makes a difference. Sure. yeah. I mean, it, there's just a lot of different factors. Yeah. But for me, that's the fly length that works for me. Yeah, for me too. But don't be afraid to try something different. Well, and you can, to, to you know, jump onto that a little bit. If you're getting bit, um, say, on your turns, on your inside boards or your outside boards. Yep. If you pay attention to that. You know, your outside boards on a turn are going to be going faster. Your inside boards are going slower. If you're yep. getting, say, I'm getting bit on my outside boards. Yeah, tells me to bump. Speed up. Tells yep. me to bump my speed up. But... That will give you more action in your it flies will. also. Yep. You don't have to necessarily change that leader length is what I'm trying to get yep. to. Yep. You exactly. Can, you can vary you can change leader length by speed. Yep. That's what I'm trying you to can. say. Yep. So that's another good thing to keep an eye on. Yep. And if say you do uh say you got a kind of a lazy fish bite. And we get that we do. All we the get time. that, yeah. Lot of longer leader lengths yep. is what I found is pays the dividends. Yep, especially um, on your paddles. Um, yeah, your you know like your big foot stuff like that. You want to run a longer lead. Yeah, I usually you know five feet. It's usually what I usually run. Yeah, give or take. Yep. I mean you know I'm another one. Run all dangler right here. Sure. You know five feet. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> yep. For what for when I'm running really long leads for me it's normally right up to my yep. just below my chin down to the floor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those those lazy days where you just can't seem to you're getting one or two bites. You know they're kind of active but you can't really get them going. A lot of times I'll throw those longer lead um, rigs out there, yeah. and you'll start picking you'll up. You'll start picking up fish, yeah. Because you think Later about in the day. You, you think know. about it with that thing. If it's right there behind that thing, it's really whipping. Yeah. Well, not really whipping, but you know. It's, it, yeah, it's turning pretty fast. Or if you lead, lead it back to about there or way back longer, that thing's now less action. Where and There is, um, you know, I mean, we both know the same guy. He runs some incredible long leads, mm -hmm. even on his meat rigs. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, they're four and five feet, which on a meat rig is 
something you, you don't ever do. No. You know? no. Yeah. It's just something you just don't do. But it, it boils down to confidence. Yep. Too, if you have confidence on what you're running, yeah, it will work for you. And that's those 15 to 20 rigs, those staples on my boat. Those are my mm -hmm. confidence rigs. And if they're not going, I go to my second staples. And then if they're not working, I normally go back yeah. to my first yep. ones. I don't. And a lot of times, it, there is a point in the day where you will notice it will go back to that. Yeah. It will actually yeah. go back to what yeah. you were starting to run earlier. Absolutely. Yeah. That second bite that comes mm -hmm. along, ten thirty to noon somewhere in there. Yep. Yep. That's it's always always in the last part of the day. Yeah. That that's one thing we learned in tournament fishing. And if you guys are thinking about getting in tournaments, I'll give you a quick tip here. I'm sure Scott, you know, you'll agree with me. If you're getting bit in the morning and it turns off and you got to go get other fish, say Lake Trout or Steelhead, and you go run off to wherever to go get those things, yep. be back where you were exactly at 10 30, 11 o'clock, somewhere. Those there. fish will turn on again. <clears throat> they will. Um, and we learned that the hard way yes. <laughs> in tournament fishing. Yep. We took off to Laker Land or Steelhead Land mm -hmm. and we didn't come back to where those active fish were. We, we just. We're you always hear about it. Yeah. You always hear about it later on from the guys that are on, on the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. You know, we caught all of our fish from 11.30 to, you know, 1. Yeah. Yep. You know, and, you know, it, the fish, they just turn off. They just quit feeding well, they, for they a while can, because they've been feeding they for get full. hours. Yep. You they, know. They get full. Absolutely. Finally, they'll turn back on again, and it's usually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, turn that midday good. bite could be very well. Could that, be that very win, good. That wins tournaments. Yes, that, it does. Above, above anything else. I mean, you might get your box in the morning. Yep. Typically, though, the tournaments we've done very well in, we don't get our full box in the morning. No. You got to get them later in the day. Yep. And if you, like you said, if you talk to the boats at the top of the leaderboard at the end of the day. They I, got their I, fish later in the day. They got their fish later in the day. Yeah. And sometimes they're bigger <laughs> fish later in the day. Yeah. All right, so we touched on flies, meat rigs, spoons, spin doctors. I wanted to ask you this. You got different size spin doctors. We do. We yeah. have um, all the way down to 6-inch, 8-inch, 10-inch, and yep. we got our Bigfoot, which is the 12-inch. Yep, so 6-inch. When would you be running the 6-inch? Mostly in the one. spring and the fall. I'm sorry, There's I got to cut in front of you. Yep. yep. Uh, mostly in the spring and the fall is when you usually run your 6-inch for, like, cohos. Um for cohos, they work great. Um, beginning part of the year in the springtime, usually with a smaller fly, uh, you run a little bit shorter leads off, off of them as well. They spin a little faster. Yeah. Um, but great. yeah, mostly in the spring and the fall. So great coho. Run. Yes. Yeah. That's usually the only time I will run them is yeah. for coho. Yeah. I've actually found better bites on these things over, say, the, the classic Dodgers. Yes. Yeah. And the Dodgers yeah. do. The Dodgers fish. work, yeah. They really, really do. But I found that these things, I think, more consistently will put fish yeah. in the boat. Yeah. I don't know yeah, why. If you run them like in St. Joe and stuff like that, you're going to catch fish. Yeah. So you got in the 6 the inch, the you got the 8 inch, you got the 10 inch, which we don't have one in here. Oh, I see one. There's one right there on the wall. Yeah. Let me see if I can grab. That's the Bigfoot. That's there. the Bigfoot, yeah. No, I can't reach it. the grabber? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So I don't see a 10 inch here, but that's the 12 inch. But let's talk about the 10 inch though for just a second. What's the uh, what's the benefit, say the eight inch versus the 10 inch or vice versa? It's all I've got to do with, I, I think it's personal preference. For the longest time, I did not like running the 10 inch, mm -hmm. the doctor. I thought it was, you know, just crazy to run it. And then I started running it, I started catching more fish. Mm -hmm. um, I think in the fall, Pretty much 10 inches the way yeah, to go. Yeah. I when them when them kings are big and they're ready to come in. August comes around. Yep. Yeah. July and August are the times to run your 10 inch. I apologize. Spin doctors and stuff like that. I mean, it's it's great. Yeah. Um, great product. I mean, it it catches fish. It's not probably a, you know just as much as the eight inch. Oh, without a doubt. And I still run a lot of eight inch yep. still in August. I do too. Yeah. Yep. I think my high divers. I really like to keep the eight inch. I do too. Yep. Yeah. I think the 10 inch makes a little bigger circle. Sure. You know, of course, because it's a little bigger blade. Um, the Bigfoot, too. Yeah. Same thing with that one, makes a big circle. And I like those 10 inches a lot of times for meat rigs, too. Yeah. Because I think that does. I think it gives a little better action. It does. And it, just a little different action. Yeah. Um, and you really don't want to mess up those meat heads the way they're going through the water, the way that they're spinning. You know what I mean? We do. There right, we go. Comes girlfriend. Oh, hey, look at that. So 8 inch versus 10 inch. I mean, it's just. 
not much bigger. Not much. <clears throat> but I mean, that little bit of a size difference is a big difference for your rotation. It is. Yeah. And I, what the way I was uh, where I was going with that was your meatheads. They rotate through the water they on their do own. Too, you yeah. don't have to put. You don't have to impart action on them. No. Spin doctor. No. They, they will spin. Yep. And I think if you get a spin doctor down there that's really cranking, it can actually mess up some of that rotation. Yeah. 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 So I think ten inch for meat rigs is a great way to get. Yeah. Not saying you not, don't. Not saying that the eight inch won't work. It does. It seems to work better on the ten. Yeah, it, it definitely does. On You'll the probably catch two to one on. I think so. On the ten inch more than you would the eight. Yep. And then the biggest one you got, the Bigfoot. The Bigfoot, yeah. So that's ten. That's the twelve. <laughs> and that's a that big. That is a big blade. That's a big blade right yep. there. What are you What are you gonna run this on? Or when are you gonna run this? I run that in the fall. Okay. Um, usually, if the fish are deep. You know, I don't have a center down rigger on my boat. I just have a 25 footer, but I will run it on my out down and run it down there 100 feet. Mm -hmm. And I run a big lead on it. The bigger the lead from your ball, the slower your bait will yep. go. Yep. Close, you know, closer you run it, faster to go. Yeah, I usually run that with like a 30 foot lead, and I'll put probably a five foot lead on the fly. Okay. And that's that's how I've ran it before. It works good. And it works really good. Yeah, that thing on my yeah. center down rigger, my shoot rigger. That's a good one to run right there. Like yep. you're saying, with a longer lead on it. Yeah. For me, it's normally almost like belly button to the floor. So yep. three, th three, three and a half. Feet. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And uh, that really on a deep, deep, deep presentation. Yeah. Usually in August when the water's warm. Yeah. You know, the end of July, first part of August, that water usually gets around that seventy degree mark. Yeah. Hundred foot down. Yeah. That's what you want to run. Yeah. You want. You want to run something big. Yep. You know, you run. That's when you run your eleven inch paddles. Uh, your, you know, yep. your big back holds, yep. that kind of stuff. You Absolutely. just run your bigger. And I've said this in past videos and I'll stand by this. Even if that fish doesn't bite this, you know, even if that fish comes into your presentation because he sees that, mm -hmm. there's a chance he's going to bite something else. Right. So even if you're not getting bit on that big thing, it's it might gonna, be just attracting them enough to get them into your spread. Just getting them into the spread, which is half the battle. Yep. And I've had people ask me that before. Can I Say I'm by myself. I got three rods out already. Can I run a big flasher down there just to bring them in? And yeah, the answer is yes. Yes. As, as long, long as it doesn't have a hook. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I highly recommend it because mm -hmm. that big thing down there, something gathering their attention. Even if they don't come in and bite that thing, old, old Charlie there, he's going to make a right turn yep. and maybe see that plug that he does want. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Very. I mean, good. It's, so, um, you know, I mean that's exactly right. You know, I mean, you want something in your spread to attract your fish. Yeah. Usually it's a bigger, the bigger baits is what usually does most of the attraction. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a big difference there. That's a huge difference. You can hide that one. You can hide that thing behind that thing. All right. Yeah. So the Bigfoot, I have a few of those on the boat and they do work very, very they well. They do well. well yeah. I don't run meat rigs on them. I, I do not. No. Yeah. Um, I've never run a meat rig on it. I, I don't even run it on a diver. I know people that have. Yeah. And usually the, it usually doesn't wind up very well. No, no. Yeah, you got to be mindful of where that thing's going. Yes. Because yeah. that thing does make a big loop. It makes a big circle. Yeah. So that's, you know, you always want to run it on a downrigger. Is away. the best results. A just to keep away. it kind of away from your yep. your yep. other stuff. You know what I mean? It's, you know, My, you know as well as I do, you do not want to run that on a wire. Oh, and no. have it go into your oh, high Lord. or your low or... My, uh, my rule of thumb is if I'm running big rotated, which I normally am on, yep. the, on the center downrigger, 15 feet of difference between any other yes. rigger. and you have to that's minimal because as soon as you turn by it, god it's going to catch something it'll catch something <laughs> and people come to me all the time like you know oh, man i keep getting my my down my down riggers keep getting tangled up somehow and i was like well how close do you run them together well yeah. one's at 40 one's at 42 and the yeah. other one's at 38 wow well, yeah that's so, you know, there there you if go if you're just going straight it's probably not a bad thing to do but, yeah, but it can get bad any, if you do any kind of turning whatsoever if you can catch a fish a lot of times, right? They will go into each other. Yeah, my my general rule of thumb, like I said, for the big ones, fifteen feet. Everything yep. else, I try to keep ten. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I always run at least ten foot yeah. difference. Uh, okay. So spin doctors, spoons, meat rigs, flies, plugs. You got plugs too. We do. Yeah. We do have uh, ace high plugs. Uh -huh. uh, they they replicate the ace high plug. They look just like an ace high. Uh, we are coming out with a newer plug. A new smaller plug this year that will be an ace high plug but that won't be probably until close to summertime okay before we get it done well i didn't know but i'm excited about that then that was that's something we've been keeping under our hat 
Um, don't tell anybody. anybody. Right, right. Don't, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. But it's uh, about the size of the number three <coughs> silver horde. Oh, nice. But only it's going to be an ace high. It's going to have the hooks I right do, on it. I do like those smaller plugs earlier in the year. I actually run them all do you? through from July on. Okay. I mean, on a 10 color, that goes out every day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I have my, you know, couple you, favorite ones of that, but mm -hmm. they're not by us. You know? <laughs> right, I know, so, I know. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, you guys are so good about that because being on pro staff, you know, people ask you, do you have to run all Dreamweaver stuff? And no. I always tell them, you know, Dreamweaver understands. You run what you can to catch the fish. Yeah, uh, Dreamweaver understands because they're fishermen also. Yeah, uh, they're anglers. I mean, they, there's two charter, all three charter captains that work here. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, that, that helps. Um, there's. Everybody fishes usually here, and I mean, we. You guys know that's that's how we that's how we test a lot of our products. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's how you get ideas. Yes. Yeah. So, yep. You know, I, I, I'm not saying you're copying anyone, but a right. good idea is a good idea. Yep. And exactly. everybody, everybody in the business, pickle sunshine Riverside. Yep. Um, Double slick, Beckold, big white. Yep. Yo, know, they're very. They're similar. very. They're, they're the similar. same thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're the exact same stuff. They get the tape at the same place we do. Sure. There's only one place you can get tape for that stuff, and it's right. <laughs> it's in the state of Michigan. Yeah, you got to get so it. So you got to get it. So. All right, so I'm going to pick your brain. Your top five plugs. You got to have them. Yep. Glow is number one. Just uh, all glow. glow. All glow. Yep. yep. Double glow. glow. Yep. Yeah. Right. My second one would be the one with the black ladder back, the glow with the black ladder back. That's a good one. Um, the... Um, green with the black ladder back as yep. well. Green glow with the black yeah. ladder back. That one's always a really good staple to have. We make one called the Chrome Frog. Yep. That one works very well in, in later parts of August around the pier heads. Works really good in the, yep. in the pier heads in that yep. dirty water. Um, and then probably the other one would be the Michigan Shiner that yellow that yellow splatter back. See, I don't know that. I, I know it, but I've never run it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yellow splatter back, but it's got a little bit of uh, um, holographic silver on it. Oh, I side. know the one you're talking about. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. never run that thing. I don't think. Well, I'm going to now. Very good for coho. Yeah. Really good in the ladder in the light part of August. Yeah, I had a guy on the boat last year, a customer, um, and I was catching coho on plugs, mm -hmm. and he was astounded that I was catching coho on plugs. I've, I've fished for years and years and years. I've never caught a coho on plug. Coho love, love plugs. Plugs and bright plugs. Yes. Yep. They mess them up, but they're... <laughs> they, go, they go coho on them is what they do. <laughs> yeah. they coho do a certain thing called going coho, yes. and they tear stuff up. But they I, will wrap up a fly quicker than uh, anything. Yeah. I mean, well, you think about it. Your gear is made for 20-plus pounds sand. Yeah. So when you get an eight pound coho on there, you get him into the boat pretty quick. Yeah. And then he realized, hey, I don't want to go in that boat. And he goes coho. Yeah. And everything and under rigger lines. Oh yeah. Back through down rigger lines, back through diver lines, <laughs> back through everything. Yeah. And that's I call that well he's I, and that's I was, where having a good mate comes back. Oh my god. Goes <laughs> back to because you got to be ahead of that stuff. Or you do. It, yep. It'll slice it off quick. Yeah. You when I look around and I, my first mate's already got his hands on rods. <laughs> yeah. I know he's he's yeah, ready. You're ready. Right. Yeah. yeah, I always tell the customers, I'll be ready, because yep. when he gets here, he's going to go coho. Yeah. Like, what do you, what does that mean? If we ask you for the rod, please give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're not going to reel in your fish. We're not going to take your fish, we promise. Yep. But we, we need to clear some But we do need to clear it, and a lot of times it's going underneath something, or yeah. around something, or oh, it's yeah. tangled up into something. I mean, yep. it's just... It's, it's not uncommon for me to have all four diver rods on one yes, side on of the one boat. Yes, on one side of the boat. And because and I'm you just have to all four dive rods and normally all my downrigger rods except one if the guy's yeah. fighting or whatever. Long Especially if you're hold. fishing deep. Yes. Oh my God, when you're fishing deep, that is horrible. And I know there's people <laughs> out there probably hearing this are thinking, my God, you have all four dive rods on one side of the yeah. boat, and you you can, you can do it. You yes, can do it because they do stay apart. Absolutely, I, that, do I've done apart. that very often. If they go, yep. say you get a fish coming in and it goes underneath your divers. Yep. All you got to do is take your diver, especially if you're running a single diver. It's a lot easier. Yeah. Pick that thing up, take it right over the other side of the boat, set it in that holder. Yep. It will still run exactly where it was yeah. running. Yep. Um, you just got your line out of the way. Is basically it, what you're and doing. And it is so nice yep. to have that whole side of the boat then clear. Yep. Then so you can bring your fish right up to that corner of your boat or in the back of the boat right my there. My God, the there were so many times when I first started doing this. I had fish under so many lines, and I'm trying to get a net around something. And they usually end up hooking the lure. Oh or... <laughs> yeah. just... And then, I mean, that's the worst feeling in the world when you go to net a fish and you pull that lure out of that fish's mouth and watch it float yeah, away I've done it. on your customer. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it numerous we've times. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've all done it. Yeah. You know, because you think you can get it, but you're... 
the first time I, I won't say which boat, <laughs> but the first time I first made it for him, I had the net. And I know he's watching me, yeah. and I just went ahead and just, ah, I thought, you, I'll just hit that fish in the head with this net. <laughs> and I popped it right off the lure, and away it went. And I, just, I probably heard about that. You yeah. probably did. And I, just, <laughs> I set the net down, and said, well, that I, one got away. <laughs> I'm being fired. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I mean? And people, they understand. They it's, do. It, you know, they do. They know when it's going crazy at the back of the boat there's not much yeah. there's not much we can do to that to one was all it. that one was all me I don't, <laughs> it, like i'm normally really good with the net i don't mean to pat myself on the back i'm normally really good but that day i was not really <laughs> it we, happens to us all because we, we get excited we get and, in a hurry oh yeah get a little, little nervous especially yes. on a, if it's a tournament day yeah and fish. you got other lines <laughs> going off yeah you can get a little bit yeah. uh, little, that's what that was the uh, the idea behind that shirt that I made. It said no more net yeah, for you. No more net for you. No yeah. more net for you because we've all had that guy on the boat that just <laughs> can't seem to get that just fish can't get it. <laughs> into the net. We had a tournament one time. My net guy hit it halfway into the middle of the body, flipped it up in the air like a pancake, came back down, hit it in the head two or three yeah. more times, and I finally yelled at him, "Give me the you know what <laughs> net?" And he said no, and he finally got it on like the sixth try. <laughs> My heart the whole time was just you, you know I. <laughs> And you always get the customers, you know, you get them at least once a year. I want to net that fish. Sure. And by God, you let them, you know, and you're trying to coach them through it. And most everybody lays the net in the water. Yeah. And that is their biggest, biggest yep. thing. You got to tell them you can't do that. Yeah, that's actually something I'm going to cover in a video coming up in the summer. How to pro how you set your net, net up properly, how you can hold it, yep. manipulate it. You don't ever want that net to billow in the water, like just waiting for the fish. No. It, you're, you're asking for a lot of trouble right there, but yeah. All right, we went off on another left turn there. We did, we yeah. Did. That, yeah. It's good, good it's stories. Good. It's good stories. Yeah, I, I love the stories. <laughs> All right, so I know you're talking about your favorites here, yep. but the ones that you talked about, I mean, these are general staples. They are. They are. Um, I mean, like I said, they're probably our top sellers. Yeah. Yeah. And, and not just for you guys, for charter captains. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. know, you're talking about the ones here that I'm looking. I'm going. Yep. 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 And I, every other charter boat, I go. Yep. 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 There, there's nothing. I mean, one that I probably didn't mention was the little <coughs> bubble, yeah. which is that one yep. right there. I was actually going to mention that. That one right there is, is another staple of mine, especially Absolutely. early in the spring. Yeah. That, um, that with the blue bubble fly yeah. is actually a very good. It's a good combo. <clears throat> and I know somebody that runs that every day, and they just keep it out all day. Yeah. Do I know that person too? Probably do. I think I do. He works here. I think I know who you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> 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 all right. Oh, where else do we want? Okay. Can we show them the new spoons? We can. Let's show them. We can. Them. These guys, are just the ones that we have ready, guys. World premiere. Um, they're not. They're not for sale by any means. These are just ones that we just had painted. But the first one is a gold fireball, and I can't believe we haven't put this one out earlier because this one has been a great spoon of mine for mm -hmm. years. <laughs> so normal, normal fireball with the gold blank. Just a gold blank. Yeah. Yep. Most everything we did this year was all on gold, guys. And because we haven't came out with anything for gold for a long time, and that was something we wanted to wanted to change. Our gold colors were kind of old and right. just, you know, we wanted to bring some of our best sellers and put them on gold. Yeah. Gold and, was something I figured out a few years ago. Yeah. Always to catch fish. Especially in the springtime. When the water's Smash. cold, it's gold. And the other That used to be something that Shane... Dad used to say all yeah. the time, Pete Rubianis used to say all the time, if it's cold, it's gold. And it's, yeah. it's actually pretty pretty close. The other time I found was pure heads. Yeah. And it's stained water. Yep. Yep. They cool. run them a lot down south, um, south of here, down, you know, like uh, Grand Haven, mm -hmm. you know, St. Joe. Their water is a lot more dirtier than stained. ours. Yeah. Um, you know, with the Grand River coming out down there. Uh, the St. Joe River coming out right. down here. I mean, it's just it's just got dirty water. That gold. That's where really your gold works. is really going to shine. Yep. Um, what else you got there? That's the other one we have I like is that. a gold Jordo. I can't wait to get that. Um, we have painted it for a couple shops. We haven't came out with it until this year, but Steel, it is going to be a good one. Steelhead. Steelhead is going to love that. Oh, the, the, and the, of course the fireball too. Though. Yes. Another one we came out with is the Captain Gary's. The Captain Gary's has been probably one of our number one selling spoons. It's very good around Michigan. I use it a lot myself. Um, this time I did it with yellow instead of the UV. 
I did it with the yellow UV in the that center. Really good. And I I believe this spoon is going to be great. I have used it a couple times last year. That's gold too. That is gold. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All these spoons are gold. Oh, they're all gold. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, we have I think we have seven new new spoons coming out. Six of which are gold. Okay. Um, this is another one we painted for Fish USA last year. It's called the Rod Father. And that one is on gold and silver this year. And that's a new one. Yep. Just a new color for us yep. all together. And then we got a gold green leopard. That was one another one. I used it down in uh, St. Joe early on this year. And it was a very good spoon for us. Especially down deep. Yeah. I caught lake trout, caught coho, I caught kings, yep. I caught steelhead on it. Great spoon. Um, sorry they're not available yet, guys. Probably another three, four weeks, be my guess, okay. before we get them all painted. We want to get everything done on the shelf before we release them. Well, I don't think anybody's going out and pushing the boat across the ice. Probably not yet. You know, so, I mean, especially with the weather we got now, it's, yeah. you know. You guys, that's one thing I wanted to bring up before I forget. Scott is here. He's not working today. He came here on his own free time mm -hmm. um, just to talk with everybody, talk with me, of course, but talk to you. That's the biggest thing. So if you get a chance, please in the comments, hey, tell Scott thanks because I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, we're not finishing I mean, up right I like, you know, I like to jump on here every once in a while. Yeah. And, you know, when I don't have anything going on, me and my wife are very busy. Yeah, I know you are. Um, we, you know, we have a lot of irons in the fire, so we're, we're pretty busy. So Sunday is usually our day off. I know. I see we your name. We usually don't like to. I see your name on there pretty yeah, often. Yeah, nice. you know, I try to go on and anything that pertains to Dreamweaver, any yeah, fishing yeah. questions, I do my best to try to help you guys out with trying to answer yeah. them. So, I mean, guys, gals, he is here on his own free time. Um, so please give him a big thanks. Those spoons are they're going to be very good. Those look good. I've used every one of those spoons and caught fish on them. Those two right, I mean, all three of them are going to, all five of them are going in my boat. Yeah. Those two right <laughs> there, that new Captain Gary and that gold Jordo, those are going out. They're, yeah. yeah. They're going to be very good. Yeah. That gold fireball has been a staple mm. on probably at least a half a dozen boats that I know of. Yeah. We got a lot of comments coming in saying thanks, Scott. So, you're Cap welcome, guys. Cap Thank Cap you guys Code. very much for everything you do buying Dreamweaver. Oh, yeah. You know, all your questions, all your support for Tango Tackle and yeah, for Chris. I mean, that. you know. Thank you. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Look at all these people. Tim, uh, Tim M., Hugh Merrill, All Season Angler, uh, Mike F., T. Whipple, everybody. Thanks, Scott. Captain Crow, Captain Crow, sorry about that. Jeff Russell, Mega Mike. I think that says Mega. I say it's starting to go. <laughs> I gotta get glasses or something. Uh, but so many people are saying thanks. To you. Yeah, yeah. Thank no you problem. for thank you, know, you everyone for thank for, you everybody for you know like I said everything you guys do for us you know all your comments everything we get numerous questions that come into the shop all the time um, asking everybody about you know asking how to run products by all means call us yeah you know we we love to hear from you guys you know if you got certain ideas that you'd like it's it's hard for us to do them all but. We will listen to you. You listen. I know you listen. We will listen. Yeah. You know, I mean, I know that's, you, do. you know, if you got something that you'd like to see on a spoon, like I said, by all means, Guys, let I can, us know. I can attest to that. I came in here six, seven years ago yeah. with a spoon design that was working for me. And sure enough, you put it right in, you turned it into some super slims and yep. some standards. Mm -hmm. And uh, gave it out to some guys. I took a, I caught fish on it. I did some too, yeah. Somebody, but you didn't put it into production. We did not. And no. that's fine. But you no. listened. Yeah, we, and, uh, you know, we'll try it, and what we usually do is we'll take it out ourselves. Mm -hmm. We'll give whoever you know that wants us to try it. Mm -hmm. We'll give them guys a few samples as well, and we'll give it a whirl. If I it remember. works out as being a great spoon, by all means, we will put it out. I gave some to Paul that day, Paul Schlafly. Yeah, I, I think I gave him two, and I got a call like about eight thirty in the morning. Said, "You got any more of those spoons?" Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. uh, you know, it has it goes on. I'm sure on what everybody thinks, not just me or yes. you or Paul. Yeah, it's a it's a gathered thought. So. Yes, but you know they I mean? do listen. Guys, we do guys, listen. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. They they this is this is a platform where you guys can listen. Yes. To also, yep. so hey, don't ever be afraid if you're on the Sunday live feed any Sunday. If Scott's on here, or even if he's not, I'll get the info to him. But if he's definitely on a live feed, 
and you got ideas, throw them out. Yeah, yeah, by all means. I mean, you yeah. know, we'll uh, we'll do our best, you know, to answer any questions you guys have yeah. about anything you about any awesome. of our products. Or you guys are all so good, good with your people. I you have know, enough. we try to we try to do our best with our customer service. You know, if anybody has problems with their spoons, you know, if the paint comes off, yeah, you know, we all have bad yeah. bad days when it comes to painting or something like that, or we'll get a bad batch of paint mixed up yeah. or something, you know, and you know if it if it does happen. You know, I mean, we can tell if you caught 40 fish on it, you know, don't get me wrong. <laughs> we, we've had those come back, too, you know, where they're they're all bent to, to pieces. And, you know, people like, you know, this spoon lost its paint. Well, yes. <laughs> I wonder why. I will I will take that spoon. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was sitting, I don't mean to go left turn here again, but I was sitting in Tangle Tackle one day, spooling up some reels, and a guy came, a customer came walking in, somebody we were very familiar with, a friend. And he had a... He had a trolling bag, a drip bag, and he asked the owner, what's the warranty on a drip bag? And the oh. owner said, I think, I think a year, and we looked at that bag. It had to have been a lot of probably five plus years. I mean, it was yeah. torn <laughs> every place. He goes, oh, well, you know, I need to turn this in for a new one, and we laughed him out the door. <laughs> it was so funny. Good, good guy, though. Yep, I yep. think he was doing it more as a joke yep. than anything else, but yeah. And we've, we've had people try to return... I mean, other people's spoons or yeah. snubbers even, yeah, because um, we're not the only ones to make snubbers. You know, that's that's something I do want to talk about real quick. Um, your snubbers, the rip cord. Yes. How long do you think that they last? I get that question every so often. I've never had one break. I haven't either. Um, I've had the same one on my downriggers probably for four years. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And that's running a you know fifteen or a twenty pound ball. Yeah. No, what I really like about Dreamweaver snubbers, they're called rip cords. Yep. If you look at the LJs, and I don't, I'm not trashing Lure Jensen in any way. They made they've made snubbers forever. Forever, yep. But they wear out. They do. They get especially if they're in the sun. Yes. They get sun baked and not good. Yeah. I mean it's and you can tell you go to stretch out just a little bit and most of the time. Oh, as soon as you as soon as you put it in the water, it's already stretching out. Yeah. You know it's gone, then you know you got you can't run that thing. And people always ask us how big a ball you can run on your downer yeah. yeah. um rip cords. <laughs> we don't know. We haven't found a ball yet that we <laughs> Yeah, you're talking about specific downrigger weight yes. rip cords. And yep. you do make those also. We do make those. Yep. And we always use, you know, high quality swivels. We use a yeah. very heavy duty, we use a four hundred and fifty pound test swivel. Yeah, I mean, do. and we have to do that to make sure, I mean, you know Overdo as well it. as I do, yeah. yes, you want a quality product that's going to last yeah. as long as the product lasts. And if they turn yellow, by all means, they are still good. They are. But it's the sun that gets them yellow. Yeah. It's just the, uh, it's not oxygen. But they, they last a very long time. I think the one I have, I have one diver I know that I've had on the boat for three years. It, it's been on there for three years. Oh, yeah. I mean, and... I mean, I run trips too, so it's it's it gets a lot of use. Yeah, I can I cannot recommend, <laughs> guys, gals, if you're looking for good quality um, diver, sw uh, I don't want to call them a snubber because they're not. They're not. But no. the, they're called rip cords. But it yep. is a snubber. Um, yep. Good quality. Dreamweaver makes the best, in my opinion, and the ones that you make for the downrigger balls, especially the yes. dead set releases. Yes. Absolutely, I will swear by those. And we are redesigning all. that actually this year. Really? Yeah, we're making them a little bit easier for us to make. Okay. Um, they're kind of a they're kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, we're going to make them all one piece this time. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to take. I think we're going to shorten it up as well, and just use the top of the release. Mm -hmm. I think is what we're doing with it. Um, it's been a while since I've I've talked about it, but. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna change that. There's gonna be a lot of changes this year, guys, um, for Dreamweaver. Uh, we're coming up with a new paddle. Um, I know some of you guys have, uh, some of the charter captains have gotten samples of them. Yeah, I ran one. Um, they're very good. They, they work unbelievable. That was probably my best bait this fall when I was offshore. Um, it's gonna be great. We uh, finally got the final tooling done. Finally got the final prototypes done on it. And I apologize. I didn't run one. I'm thinking of that prototype spin doctor that Shane wanted me to try. I can show you the. I can show you the one. Can it? Oh, yeah. Here we go. We get another world premiere premiere of a Dreamweaver product. How many people do we have on? We have 172 people on for a Sunday night in January. Guys, thanks for being here. That's really that's a really good number. Um, that's probably twice as many as we've had over the last couple of weeks. Let's see what I'm missing on the chats. 
Oh, so many good people here. All right, excuse me. Oh, absolutely. All right, this is our new paddle, guys. Looks a lot like our old eight inch paddle, except for now it has a fin. There you go. And it's one that you can either keep up or down. Look at that. See, so it either runs like a paddle or runs like a spin doctor. There you go. And I'm telling you, you can change out the fins on these things. Uh, it's it's gonna be a great paddle. Did you see it just for a sec? Yep. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> no, they are going to be. They are going to be a very good. Uh, they're going to be a very good product to add for us for this year. Guys, that, that really does. That is an amazing setup. That's cool. That's really cool. All colors. All colors. Yeah. Nice. We actually have a batch of the Chrome player as we speak. Nice. I will be um, here. We I probably don't... will not have them available, my guess, until March. Okay. Before we get probably get into making them full time. Yeah, I'm excited about. They're that. gonna they're gonna take a little bit to put together. We have to put the the fin on as as well. Those fins are gonna be interchangeable, guys. You can you can add colors. Like if you have a white blade like that and want to put a green fin on it, hmm. it's gonna look great. That's cool. The chrome ones are not gonna be have chrome fins though. They're okay. going to have the UV fin. Oh, and that nice. UV fin, I'm telling you, is the way to go. Very nice. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it is very good. I ran it a lot this fall. It always caught fish for me. Nice. Most of the time on my high diver, it was my number one producer. That really locks in there well also. Yes. It's and we, not going to come loose. We had a lot of, we had a lot of problems <laughs> trying to get that set. That's why it's been taking so long. We've actually had them since... August, I believe, of last year. Really nice. And it's just, it's, it's been a bear trying to get the tooling right. I can imagine. But we finally do have it right. Ninja boards. Ninja boards. Any changes? No, not this year. Okay. <clears throat> we still have the, you know, your big 11 inch one and mm -hmm. then the 8 inch as yep. well. I've heard, well, talking with the owner here, you know, that he yep. is. He did tell me there are some changes coming down the pipe. Yes. I'm not going to talk about them, but there's some exciting changes coming down the road on those. Yeah. Something I think that some things that I know people will like. Yes. Yeah. There's um there's some stuff that we've we've you know we've listened to you guys. You guys told us some of the problems that you were having. We we try to fix them. Yeah. And I mean that's one good thing about us is you know if you tell us there's a genuine problem, I think we're still okay. I think we're back. All right. Make sure that you can still. Uh, okay, I can see me now. There we go. All we're, right. Oh, we're lagging a little. Oh yeah, then we're back. All right. <laughs> um, somebody just asked, any plans on putting flags on the large boards? Uh, probably not right away. Most of the time, the reason why we did it on the small board is because we use, that's what they use for walleyes. Yeah. Um, that's more what considered a walleye board would be. Um, there is a flag kit probably going to be available this year. Not 100% sure for the bigger board. Yeah. It's going to be like an aftermarket. Okay. All right. Made by you? Made by us, yes. All right, great. Yeah, it'll be the exact same flag that's on the other one. Okay. Except for, I don't think it's going to have the adjustable cam on the back of it. Got it. It'll well, just be like a bolt-on. I, I, I love option. Ninja. I, I'm sold on the Ninja boards. I've run them now since you guys came out with them. And uh, by far have treated me the best uh, of any board that I've ever run. Run true. They run most most consistent. They do. They run true. Yes. Um, I really like the. And you're like I am. I get a little OCD out there where I'm looking out the back of my boat. I like my boards to be yeah. straight and aligned. <laughs> I, and I know you're the same way. I'm the same way. I'll, I'll reel them in or let them out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. But you can <laughs> adjust the weight on that. You can you can yeah. let it out a little, bring it in. I can get those things to run so nice yep. back behind the boat. And they run consistent with everything. They do. It doesn't matter if you're running a three oh. color with a three hundred. I mean, it's going to run. I've run up to four fifties on a, on the big boards, mm -hmm. no problem. Run, and they run exactly the run same. Run right as the other in ones. line with my five color. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's impressive. All right, we, we put in a lot of a lot of time testing. You know, testing that. Yeah. And the guys that helped us do all that, um, it was GHP or um, Grand Haven Custom Molding. Yeah. All those guys down there, they're all fishermen as well. And they all helped us develop that stuff. So the great boards. Yes. Just period. They're great boards. Love them. 
The thing I wanted to remember earlier, swivels. Swivels. I want to talk about swivels. This is a question I get quite often. What is the best swivel for a spoon? Uh, number three. Number three. Uh, that is a question we get all the time as well. Uh, it depends on what you're fishing for, guys. Sure. Uh, of course, if, you know, you don't want a number three if you're going to be fishing walleyes. That was what the number one would be for. Yeah. Um, go with the size of your spoon. Usually what I do, anything, if I'm running an SS, I'll run a number two on that. Yep, that's what I run. Anything bigger than that, all goes with a number three. Yep, that's what I do as well. I run a number four on my divers for my spin doctors. Mm -hmm. That's the ones I run on that. Yep. And these come with, with Those swivels. Those come with, with a, a number six. And then we do have a new swivel for this year for our back. Um, I believe it's probably on... No. It's the barrel. It is a double-ended swivel because we've had people... They want to connect something to it? Yeah. Yep. They, like people want to interchange their flies and stuff. Sure. And That's a good idea. There it is right there. Oh, look at that. Another world... Oh, I like that. That is our new swivel, guys. We wanted to make it so you guys, um, if you're changing out flies... It no longer comes with a barrel at the bottom. You got an actual snap. This is a this is a good idea. Yes. This is a very good idea. There's quite a few meat rig companies out there that have B chains. Yes. Um, chain swivels. Yep. For B swivel, however you want to say it. Yep. And they don't have a termination point other than that B chain. Exactly. You need you have to have something yep. like and that. And that was something we've had people ask us about. Another you know, another thing, you know, we we looked into it, it was cost effective. Just added a couple of cents. That's I mean, it was. It's a great idea. That is a great idea. You know, it's easy for changing out flies or anything oh, like yeah. that. Absolutely. I'll repackage that one. Oh, don't worry about it. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, anytime, like I said, anytime, guys, you have questions, please feel free to get a hold of us. We'll answer them to the best of our ability. It does come with a, a good ball bearing swivel. On yes, the front. ball bearing swivel on the front. Just a regular swivel on the back. Yep. Well, the double one now. Yep. The yep. double one now. Yep. So I, I've said this many times on past videos. People ask me, "What swivel should I get?" And I always recommend Dreamweaver swivels. They're, they're very. They're, they're a high quality swivel. They're all ball bearing. They're bigger names out there. They're some that start with S, and yep. they, they are expensive. Yes. I think, I think that's what the S stands for. It's expensive. Yes. They um, are very expensive. Dreamweaver um, quality, I say, is right up there with them. We're, we're, uh, we try to have quality products. You do. We spend a lot of time researching. Yeah. We do a lot of time, you know, we, we run our stuff. I mean, like I said, there's three charter captains that work here. Um, and I mean, we, we run a lot of our products before we try to get them out. Yeah. I know Just to do. make sure they work. Yep. And Cause we don't, we do not want to put out a product that does not work. Yep. And I know you guys, you're all checking I'll talk with Shane or you sometime. Hey, how's that? How's that working for you? What do you think of this? And I'll, I'll give you feedback. Yep. I know you're always talking with yeah, people. Yeah, we always talk with people. You know, our pro staff, we got some of the greatest pro staff around. They do their best to, you know, to try to help us with anything. Any questions that we have, you know, what do you guys think of it? We know what we think of it, but we need other mm -hmm. people to chime in as well. Well, there you go. That's what that's what we're here for right now. So let's do this. Um, I said there's going to be a surprise at the end. There is, yes. We're already, we are... We're almost 80 minutes in. This goes by wow. so fast. Wow. I know. Scott, I, he, he said, hey, I would love to do a giveaway for people tonight. So let's do that. Scott, I really appreciate yep, this. No this is from Scott. This is not from me. Scott and Dreamweaver, I should say. This I'll is tell what, you what. Put those five new spoons in as well. Okay, I got to enter this giveaway then. <laughs> because I, I want the Wow, you guys, this this is a nice, nice giveaway. Thanks, buddy. But like I said, just just to make sure you guys know, these are not available yet. They will be, though. They will be, yeah. Probably in the next three weeks, we'll have them on our website, and everything will be available. All right, this is the way we're going to do the giveaway, the way we normally do, normally do this. You're going to pick a number between 1 and 1,000. Not right now. Don't crash YouTube. They did. They crashed <laughs> YouTube one night. We tried that one night. I said, pick number between one and a hundred right now. Go. And it's a good time. YouTube went, boink. Oh, and boy. Kicked me out. So don't do it right now. Once this video posts to YouTube, like whenever we get done, give it 15, 20 minutes. 
go on there, pick a number between one and a thousand. If you don't mind, if this video helped you out at all, please leave a like. That does help out the channel tremendously. The person that gets closest to that number or nails the number first wins this package. Let's see what you got here. Knowing you, I know it's going to be good. A lot of my favorites. Yeah, Kevin's girlfriend. I mean, right there off, right off the bat. With that new swivel, by the way. Yeah. Double slick. We talked about that. Yeah. Oh, you loaded this up. You're a good guy. The froggy. old froggy. That's right. Yes. So this is the when you say froggy, this, this is, the, is the one I'm talking this about. This is the yep. one you're talking about. Because yep. I always think of the chrome frog or the UV frog. But this is the froggy. I had a morning on this thing. Probably one of the best mornings I ever had on this spin doctor right here. That one with the Mountain Dew fly has been a staple of mine for 15 years. I remember that morning. <laughs> I could not keep that rod in the water. As soon as I got right back off, it would go off again. I yep. put another one out there, had the same result. So the froggy. Oh, you're getting good stuff. Rasta Goose. Rasta Goose. Not the Golden Goose. Not the Golden one. I no. love that Gold Goose, but the Rasta Goose. We are out Goose. of that one, as a matter of fact. I think I, I, think I lost them all <laughs> last year. Is that the Bumblebee? I that think is, that the, Bumblebee. is the Bumblebee. Yes. yes. Another great steelhead spoon. Another good spoon for the springtime. There's the Mountain Dew fly right there. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the Liquid Sunshine, which is a pickled sunshine, like you said. Yep. Just yellow, yellow beads. beads. You yep. can change beads any which way you want. Oh, you got the green gas meat rig. That's Another one of my favorites, especially with Kevin's girlfriend. That's a good rig. We got the blue frog. That is one we did not talk about. That was a new color for last year. Yeah. And that was that was actually very good. That has been a very good spoon for yeah, us. Yeah, that's a good I one. I used it. I haven't used it so much around here, but down south, I, that's right. Yeah, I ran it a few times last year. Had good results. Yeah. Yep. Oh, what else? Oh, there's the Kevin's girlfriend meat rig. That's a good one. Is that the fireball? Nope, that's Jordo. Jordo, just the regular. So whoever's going to get this package is going to get the silver and the gold. That's nice. <laughs> I'm going to win this. I'm going to rig this one. <laughs> that Jordo right there, steelhead. Oh, yeah. Great, hey, uh, great steelhead. I gave, I, Paul was in the shop the one day. And I told him I'd been doing really good on steelhead. He said, what spoon? I showed him the Jordo. He goes, I don't have that one. He yeah. does. Well, he does now. <laughs> 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 or he just forgot. He, he says he doesn't have it, but if he yeah. looks hard enough, it's on that I'm ball. sure you're right. <laughs> the uh, double green spotted dolphin. Another great spoon. That is. I mean, that, that spoon, when we came out with it a couple years ago, that was one of our number one spoons in the springtime. Dots have just yes. taken over. Dots have taken over everything. Yeah. I mean, you think about the green dolphin. That thing's been around since the 60s, 70s. Yep. You can't go wrong with a spoon that's worked for decades. Right. Yeah. I mean, people think about, I got to have the newest stuff. I got to have the new. You got a box full of stuff right there that will probably work. Yep. Sometimes it's better to go back to the old ways. Yep. What do we got here? Oh, the no see -em. Yep. That which is, is probably which is hard our number to see. one. That's probably <laughs> our number one um, Mirage Fly yeah. that we have. Yep. I, I like, mean, I use that a lot. That, Especially with the, you know, it's like the yellow beads with that one. That right there on a double slick, big yes. foot, deep. Yep, works really works very well. Yeah. Yes. By deep, I mean like I'm normally 40, 50 feet below the temp break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm down there in the cold zone yep. where the big boys live. Oh, the green frog. The glow frog. Is that the oh, that, is that the white that's back? It's got the glow back on it. Yep. Oh, it does. That's my baby yep. right there. That's you know a me. Good spoon. This thing right here. That's, that's been another staple for years. This yeah. thing right here, I talk about this spoon all the time. The glow frog, white belly, and the super slim for me though. Yes. But it does work. It definitely does work in the standard also. Yep. That thing right there has been our best spoon five, six, seven years now. Yes. Yeah. Works very good around the pier heads. Very good around the pier heads. Works Jeez. really good in the springtime. Um, I hope you guys like this package. Yeah, this is you nice. Know, and you get that's a lot of the stuff we talked about tonight as being part of my favorite stuff. And you get the five. And you new, get the five new gold. New, <laughs> which I'm just going to put in my pocket before I leave. <laughs> Guys, that's really nice of you, Scott. Well, Thank, thanks for doing you that. You know, thanks for everything you do for us. Well, you know, I mean, you know, anything to. you guys need. You know, we to. always, we're always very grateful for everything you guys do for us. Oh, thanks, Scott. If Appreciate it wasn't for, you know, fishermen, we wouldn't be here. Oh, no doubt. So, no, I know. No doubt. So, let, let's do that again. I'm going to explain that again. Pick a number between one and a thousand. 
after this post to YouTube, not right now, don't crash the internet, <laughs> don't do that, please, do YouTube will <laughs> ban me forever, um, do it after this post, pick a number, and whoever gets it will announce it, let's, uh, let's give it a week, we'll okay. go a week, okay, well, I'll, I'll give it away on next Sunday, okay, I know you'll be down, I'll in, be down in Cabo, yeah, yeah, but uh, somebody will definitely win, I'll be, uh, I'll be around the pool probably around that this time, somebody's and... gonna be, all right. Oh, no, if he gonna, rigs it, you guys let me know. No, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. No, I value my viewers way too much. All right, let's. <clears throat> excuse me. So you can see we're in a little delay here. I'm just now putting the stuff down. Yep. Let's open this up for questions for Scott Dreamweaver. Anything really? Yes. Whatever you want to yep. ask. Anything you guys want to ask? So let us know. All right. A lot of people on here. Oh, I missed a I missed a super chat. All season angler super chatted. Thank you, all season angler. I don't have this reel. I owe you a chat reel also. But let's go down here and see where the, uh, the questions are. Greg Moose says awesome giveaway. Thanks, guys. T Whipple, um, good looking out, Scott. Dreamweaver, awesome stuff. Uh, Tim Burns, thanks, Dream. We were supporting the fishing community and the tournament trail. That's a good that, thing to yes. mention. Yeah, we uh, we never turned down a charity. We never turned down a giveaway. These guys um, have we give away a lot. They of stuff. support everything, especially I mean, not especially, but including the tournament trail. Yes, every year you guys are on there. We every are, tournament. Yeah, as long as I've been here, that's been one of the things we've always done. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so somebody's yelling divers with like four question marks. So divers, <laughs> are divers going to be in stock? This yes, year? they okay. will be in stock. They're probably another month out would be my guess before we're going to have all our colors again. Um, black, by all means. I mean, yeah. that one sold yeah. out as fast as we got it. I don't even think it made it to day two. Yeah, We sold out 2,500 divers in two days. It's incredible how fast they go. But yes, we will have them. We ordered three times more than what we did last right. year beautiful and it was just you know i mean like everybody else it's supply problems um we have to wait for them to get here ourselves get you know made and everything everybody's having the same issues with everything yeah somebody said match the hatch is a fly fishing term i know yeah that's where i learned it yeah just from a fly fishing guy yep. somebody else just super chatted matt president thanks buddy thanks for the super chat you're supporting the channel that's really nice you man uh, a couple other things that uh, people are asking. Somebody said best video of the year. Thank you, Noel. Oh, I appreciate no that. That's pretty good. This is a good question from Jason Wilkerson. Why split rings on spoons? Uh, we do that for more action, actually. Uh, and the, we always get this question, too. Why do, not, why do we not put them on a super slim spoon? Mm -hmm. We get that question probably three times a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do too. The reason why we do not put them on there is because that spoon has enough action that we think it has enough action. You don't need to supplement. You don't need to supplement it. Yeah. With the DW and the mag spoon, it doesn't have near the action that the Super Slim does. It's not near as speed friendly as the Super Slim is. That's why they're on those particular spoons. That's what I always understood also. So great, great question though, Jason. Oh, Robert Lytle. Are the 11-inch 11 11-inch 11 paddles going back in stock soon? Uh, yes, we will probably have those. Another, it's another been a supply problem for us. Um, we're just having a heck of a time trying to keep up with the supply and demand. We had a killer year last year. Um, we sold more products than what we ever thought we could. Yeah. Um, we we I think gained I bought a ton of new product, or you know, we gained a ton of new customers last year. And I mean, it's just been incredible. That's that's a lot of those people. A lot, of, a right lot of our people. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so thank you very much. Thank for you guys that. very much for everything you do for us. You know. And Here's another good question from Blind Osprey. And I, this is something that I wasn't going to ask, but I'm going to. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ninja board lights. Okay. That is something we looked into. We do not get enough. I guess people asking for them. One thing that we have done in the past is um, they do make an aftermarket light. There's, I believe it's by Church. There's actually a few few of them out there. Yeah. Yep. And we have tried them. We have tried them with like the church light and stuff yep. when we were first developing it. And we thought about putting them on just the walleye boards. The reason we didn't, most of the people that we talked to did not, not want them. 
Really interesting. See, and it was, you know, and it, like I said, it was our, our pro staff is who we put a lot of faith in, right. you know, okay, should we add this? Should we not add this? Right. Is this something that you guys would use? Probably not. Okay. You know, for the guys that go out first thing in the morning, one thing we did do on the ninja boards that has probably never been done on any of the other boards is that ninja sticker on there is a reflective yeah. tape. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have a flashlight, a spotlight, I know me and Paul used to have yep. a spotlight on there, yep. just so we can tell where our boards are. Yep. It works great. Yep. It tells you right where they're in line. I mean, you know, yep. how close they are, it, it works great. Yep. It That's does. why we did that instead of the light. Another way that I found over the years that I did, when I let my first board out, I start counting in my head. Yes. And when I get to like a minute, minute 20, I stop it. Next board, I think 45 seconds. The next board, I go like 30 seconds. And I don't have to look for them then. I can keep yeah, moving and I can doing things. keep moving, yeah. Yeah, and, but if I keep that running count in my head, it's not as easy as other ways. Right. But it does work. It does work. It yep. does work. Usually on my first board, I'll let it out. As soon as I click it out, it send the board out, I'll start letting out my other. Yep. And as soon as I get that other one out, that's when I click that yep. one. Yep. But I just creep it out, guys. I don't just let it free spool or. Right. Man, I think it was going to be in the Oh, no, county. no. It's got to go out on a clicker. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know. I'm, <laughs> yeah. The sun's come up. And I'm looking, Where's my outside Where's board? board? And I can't see it because it's yeah. like two counties yeah. away. Yeah. Right. yeah it's already been run over a couple times. <laughs> All right, uh, we're uh, pickled sunshine flies always out of stock. Are you gonna supplement, uh, build them up? We are trying. We're having a supply problem with that as well. Uh, we ordered them. Jeez, I want to say we ordered them and when we got our other ones in in September or mm -hmm. August, I think is when we got the majority of them in. We ordered another big bunch of them, and we have yet to receive them. From what we've been told, they are having a supply problem getting the material. Okay. But keep checking on the website, guys. They'll they it's, will it's be there. It's not your fault. Um, no, it's I don't want I'm not if sure we, to blame it anyway, but if if it was up to us, we would do everything in house. Yeah. But um a lot of people probably doesn't know this, but there is only seven people that work here. Yeah. That to get that. out all these products. We got some of the best people in the... That's something that shocked me when I first came in here. Yeah. The, the, the short staff that you guys run. But yeah. they are good. But we are, you know, the people we have are very good. Um, I mean, they, they bust their butt to try to get everything that we need done, done. Yeah. We got some great people. You do. Nissan Mead, thanks for the super chat, buddy. I really appreciate that. Hey, Nissan. How you doing, buddy? You know him. Yes, yeah. we do. Yes, you know him. Yeah, he ties Nissan. our... Yep, Nissan. He ties our fly harnesses for yes, us. He does, does a very good job. A lot of people are saying they would like to get a DW vinyl sticker for their boat. Can they purchase from you? Yes. They're on our website, actually. Yes, um, yeah, so we have a bunch of them. Usually, anytime we do a giveaway, we usually um, we usually do those as well. But I believe they're on the website um, for the boats. We usually, I think we have, either, I think we got a small one online, I believe that's maybe five inches. Yeah. But we can make them up to, I think it's 24. Yeah. I think mine is 20 on my boat. Yeah. Yeah. And that's plenty big. Really. Yep. Yeah, it's plenty big. But just call us. Just call us, guys, and ask, you know, I mean, if you want a specific color, we can do it in a lot of different colors. So here's a here's kind of a loaded question, Phil. Favorite port to slip in between Onekama, Manistee, and Ludington? Because <laughs> we can't answer that. <laughs> yeah, right. You, um, you ask 100 different fishermen, you're going to get 100 maybe different right. answers. Yeah. And for me, I start in Ludington. Work my way up to Anakama. I love Anakama. I do too. There's right. less. There's usually less people. Yeah. Uh, Manistee is in the last couple of years have gotten crazy. It's been a zoo. And I mean, Ludington, you just really can't beat it. For I mean, you got the point right there. Yeah. It's only a seven mile run. You know, Manistee, you don't have to go out very far. You're in a hundred foot of water. Yeah. But Onekama is just a beautiful port. It is. Less people, which is a plus. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, and there's good fishing up there. There is good fishing. And you yeah. always got lake trout. If the, the kings aren't there, you don't have to run far for lake trout. Right. Yep. All right. Uh, Ludington, or I'm sorry, Grand Rapids Sports Show. You guys are going to be there? Um, If they don't cancel it. Okay. Um, so far, we've had three shows cancel this year. I heard, I did hear the Novi show is still going on. 
Uh, we, we do not go to that one. We save that one for mostly our sport shops that we deal with. Okay. Uh, reason we go to the Grand Rapids one has kind of been a tradition ever since I've been here. Um, me and Shane usually go to that. Um, I usually stop down there like on a Saturday is when I go down. Yeah. Shane usually goes down on, he's usually there every day. And George is normally there And George also. is usually there, yeah. yeah. George Freeman, he's, I like to come he always hang goes. Out. I like to come hang out with you guys. Yeah, hang out at the booth, you know. And, and that's a great place to ask us questions. But if if it is going on, we will be there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just skipping through some here because there's a lot of questions. What do you think the diameter of the roll is on an 8-inch spin doctor? Uh, 30 foot lead. My guess, probably 4 feet. Yeah. That'd be I, my guess. I was, I was going to say probably 3, 3 and a half. Yep. To you. I'd say probably that. at the most. Yeah. 4 feet. Okay, good question there. Mm -hmm. Who was that from? That was from uh, Nick Zewers. Thanks, Nick. That's a new That's name. That's a great question. That was. Yeah. What else we got? Which brand of hooks do you guys use on your spoons? VMCs. Yes. Yep, we use a VMC 9650. And they're good hooks. And they are good hooks. They are very good hooks. Any new Worthigig colors coming? Uh, not that we've went into yet. Um... We have a heck of a time with those as well. Um, yeah. They're kind of a pain to paint. They're a pain to sticker. Yeah. They're one of those. Uh, they're one of those things that nobody likes to put together. <laughs> I hate to say it, guys, but they are a pain in the butt to try to put. But I think there's four, maybe sixteen stickers. Yeah. Okay. So Plus the paint, but uh, but uh, probably not on that one yet. We pretty much got the the main ones covered, but and they if, work and they work. They yes, do. Yes, they do work. Yes, they do. Um, Jason Wilkerson, you're welcome for the answer. Here's a good a good comment, not really a question. Okay, yeah, it's kind of a question. Somebody wants to know if you could put that whole thing together, that giveaway, as a package to be purchased. Mm -hmm. Food yep. for thought. Yep. If you if that's something you're interested in, leave yeah, a comment. Just just uh, <clears throat> give us a call. <laughs> that 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 might be even better. That, that'd probably be the best way to do it because the only person that knows about it is me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I did. I literally threw it together tonight when Chris reminded me about it, and uh, I am the only one that knows what's in that package, barring probably the gold spoons because yeah, we do not really have good. very many of those. Okay. Um, does Dreamweaver still sell meat? We yes, should. we will have meat this year. From what I understand, we'll be the only ones to have it this year. Thanks, Dan. That was a good question. Uh, we have, I want to say right around uh, 650 cases ready to go right now. We'll probably get them in March or April will be my guess. There we go. Can, can they purchase online? Yes, okay. they can purchase those online. We usually send them out in a the cooler. Yeah. Um, I don't recommend it. <laughs> just because I know that the, they don't stay warm or they don't stay cold for more than about a day. Yeah. It, it's just bad. I mean, uh, with the temperatures, we don't know how they get treated at the, you know, USPS, if that's what we use, or UPS. Mm -hmm. We don't know how they get treated. We don't know how long they sit out. And, yeah. uh, and it's just not a good thing. Best thing to do, guys, is go <clears throat> right to your local sports shop. If they don't have it, Probably just have them call us and we'll make sure we can get them. I know we'll have we'll have it stocked up in Manistee mm -hmm. of Tangle Tackles. So. Yep. Excellent question. <coughs> I'm sorry. Very good questions. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I'm watching myself on the video beat myself with a chest. Right yeah, there. yeah. That's good. <laughs> Best host ever. <laughs> All right. Yeah, somebody's saying, you know, put that package there, call it Scott's Favorites. Yeah, you could do that. That's, yeah. a, that's actually a really good idea. If you guys call tomorrow, I will be here. Um, just give us a call tomorrow. Um, I, I don't know if our secretary uh, is still out with, uh, with COVID, but um, somebody will be here to answer the phone. Just tell them that uh, we did a giveaway and just have Shane ask for me. <laughs> <laughs> or you guys can just ask for me, oh, right? <laughs> and I'll know what it is. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are getting comments on that about that that box. That's yeah something maybe a dream we could look into then. Yes, that's yeah, uh, yeah. that's probably a 
and that's something we've done in the past put packages together for people um for like you know just our sales or weekend sale yeah. giveaway stuff and so um and maybe that's something we can do after i get back yeah i don't think i'd want to stick tomorrow with that stuff cause... maybe we can uh maybe we can coordinate some way through tangle tackle also mm -hmm. um just get a bunch if of... If we could get it from you, and we could actually... That's not a bad idea. I'm just right. spitballing. I don't mean to be spitballing here yeah. on the video, but that might be the best way to go. Right. If we get the product, we could actually put it on yep. the Tangle Tackle website. As a package. As a package. Mm -hmm. And that's actually not a bad idea. So let's... You and I talk some more as okay. down the world here. We'll yep. get something set up. Yeah, we'll get something set up say. for that. Yep. That's a really good idea. We should do that more often with our giveaways. Yeah. Um, we've been so busy lately. We haven't had time for a whole lot of... A lot of our um, our package put together, you know, getting any of that stuff put together for people. I know people really enjoy it. Sure they do. Because there's a lot of guys, you know, to be honest with you, there's a lot of people that don't know what to run. Yeah. And if it wasn't for Chris doing videos like this, you know, and um, having, you know, people actually know. Access. You know, yeah. what, what to run. I mean, yeah. you wouldn't know. Yeah, I completely agree. When I first started 20-some years ago, I was lucky enough to know people that I could yep. ask. And they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't lie to me. Either. Right. <laughs> and that's the biggest thing, you know. I mean, charter captains are some of the most secretive people in the world. Yep. And they do not give up their their prize <laughs> lures for for nothing. Yeah, no doubt. Um, somebody wanted to know, I think I know the answer to this, if they ordered uh, something, could they pick it up at the shop? Yes. Well, they can. We, we have people okay. that pick it up all the time. Um, mostly people that live close to us. Um, but yes, if you want to pick it up, that is fine. We'll, uh, we'll definitely make that happen. Outstanding. How many people we still got? We're still at 175. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Holy. that's, that's some of the best numbers I've had for several weeks. That's but great. In, in the summertime, we'll get up over 200, but for January, people just love you. Oh, geez. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> you know, I guess we'll have um, to do this again. Do you have a retail store? I know you don't have a retail store, but we do you do not. have a website. We do have the website. That's as close as we can get to retail. And to, tell, to be honest with you, the reason we did that was for supply and demand. Yeah. You know, we had numerous people wanting to buy from us, and that was yeah. the only way we could do it. Right. My fishing buddy Jim just signed on here. Oh, yep. hey, Jim. How you doing, bud? Man, good to see you, Jim. I wish you were here. Hey, I haven't seen you in a long time. Where you been? He's probably having an art kid. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. I think he's got like 40-something now. But, uh, okay. No, I'm wow. No. Wow, starting his own basketball Jim team, is, maybe. Jim is a great guy. He's got a great family. It's good to see you, bud. I can't yeah. wait for summer to get out fishing with you guys. Um, Bill Gerlach says, you better boost the phone person's pay tomorrow. <laughs> well, like I said, our secretary has been out with COVID uh, since she got back from vacation. Hopefully she's uh, she'll be back tomorrow. One guy, if not, I will be here all day. So yeah. I get here usually around five in the morning. So. One person did say, and this is a good idea, if we do put a package together, put a put some swivels in there. Yes, so, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. We'll we'll get something set up. Um, like I said, I'll get in contact with mm -hmm. you or Bud Will at Tangle yep. Tackle. And we'll we could actually that. probably do like a diver snubber. Yeah, you we, know, a whole package. I mean, we could probably do like two or three different packages. Yeah, diver snubber package, yep. spoon package. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yep. Yeah, good ideas though, guys. Yeah, guys. very like, good. Really good yep. ideas. All right. Uh, and that was something we didn't we didn't touch on, but um, we get a lot of questions about diver color. Yeah. You know, should you match it to what you're you're running? Mm -hmm. We had a we had one of our pro staff guys, Peter Alex. He's out of Pennsylvania. And he, uh, he did a year-long study with numerous different colored divers. He runs Vision Quest, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Guy's a very good fisherman, mm -hmm. probably one of, the, one of the best fishermen on Lake Ontario. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, great guy. Used to have a store of his own. Um, he's a consultant now for Fish USA, as a matter of fact. Yeah, he seemed very knowledgeable. I've seen and some of his YouTube videos. Yes, he, is, he does a lot of videos, uh, a lot of how-to videos. And I think he probably did a... A video on this as well of the diver colors mm -hmm. but he ran for a full year <clears throat> one side just matching the color of the spin doctor matching the color of the lure he was using and he said it caught 30 percent more fish really matching up matching them up no kidding. that's something that i know i never do yeah i don't either and most people i know don't do that but 
they you know they have their diver that they like mm -hmm. like for probably you and me probably black but everybody knows everybody you know watches I mean, this channel for any length of time yes. knows that i'm a black, black diver guy yes that's it yep yep i mean i use i do use clear and but on occasion i'll use clear if, if i'm do. down deep i usually run clear yeah but um Usually black any other time of, yeah. of the year. I'll even buy other divers and paint them black. Yes. If you don't have black. If we don't have them, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but that's me. That I'm, I, Black divers is my way. It works for me. And again, that, it's that confidence thing. Yes. Um, but that's really interesting that Pete went ahead and did all that kind of studies. Or yes. studying on I, that. Like I said, I believe there's YouTube videos on that. Yeah. That he, that he explained that whole scenario down. I mean, and um, it makes sense. Wow. Uh, one of our guys here has has tried that. He said he didn't really have the same results that Pete did. But you know, it's right. it's all a confidence thing, like Chris said. Yeah. You know, if you're confident in your spread, you're gonna catch fish. Yeah. Yep. That's that's all there is to it. I think I think a lot of people they lose that confidence. They get out there, they're not catching the fish they want. They say, "To heck with it. Yep. We're pulling everything. We're going over there." And if you just stick with what you're doing, yep. stick with what you're confident with and just keep plugging on it. And don't be afraid to change up, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> changing lures, changing your speed, yeah. changing the angle of your troll. That is one thing that yeah. a lot of guys do not know. If there's a heavy current, you know, I know you've done videos yeah. on the fish hawk. That is an invaluable tool for us. Yeah. And you will notice a difference. If you pay attention to that fish hawk, you will notice a difference when you turn one direction or just sure. a little bit, a couple of degrees. It makes a huge difference. If you've, ever had, lures a, if you've ever had a day where one side of the boat's catching all the fish and the yep. other side's not, it's because you're into a current the wrong way. Yes. And I will always try to get the boat where my side catches all the fish and my mate doesn't get to catch any. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. So yeah. That's, it's a valuable, but it, valuable You'll tool. notice that a lot, where one side will blow away the other side of the boat, and that's mm -hmm. because it's running better than the other side. Exactly. Pay attention to your divers. That is a that is a big key. That's how I did is it the way your, fish hook, yeah, yeah. Is the way your divers are running. If you have one that's pulling super hard on one side, not on the other side, keep turning the boat until you get them to run almost right. identical. Yep. Good, good point, Scott. And Jim says, uh, hey, back to you, by the way. All right. Yeah. Jim's a good guy. Wish he was here. Yeah, should stop and see me sometime, Jim. <laughs> he I haven't buy, seen you for a couple of years. He could buy all your ugly divers. Yeah, ugly divers, <laughs> man. He was picking those ugly divers. <laughs> um, any new Spin Doctor colors coming up soon? Um, just the ones we had from last year, because <laughs> be honest with you, they never made the shelf. <laughs> we only had a few shops that actually had them, but there is four colors for for that. I believe we have one brand new one as well. Um. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know what it is. So, what was that there? Jason uh, Belter? So, the reason for black divers is it's stealth. Do they not see it? They say when it gets down deep, black is, black more, turns chrome. More visible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, more visible. Yep. So, I don't know the answer to that. Um, for me, it's just something I've, for me. Yeah, it's, it's, a, something it's a confidence I've thing. I know guys that use bright orange yeah. or white. Or the UV. Or the UV one. And they just, I remember on Jim's boat one time, we, I was bringing up one of his divers, and he had put UV tape on it. And it looked like yeah. I was pulling the sun out of the water. Yes. It was so, so bright. When those fish are deep, that's when I run that particular diver. Yeah. Yep. But, yeah, for me, black, um, I don't know why the fish like that better. Just that's the way it's always been yeah, for me, so I stick with it. I've ran that black diver for years, even before we even had them. You know, when Laura Jensen was running, you know, I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. crazy. Jim just said, let me know when you have some more of those ugly divers. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure they can find well, some I'm for sure you. I'm sure we man. can find some for you. <laughs> Way back in the quarter. Yeah. An inch of dust on them. That's, that's funny. Uh, what about glow divers? Scott Walker wanted to know. You we do have one glow diver. Froggy, it's a yeah. froggy glow, yeah. yeah. And um, I have run that diver, um, that diver as well. I use it in August. Yeah. It's another one of those, and I have run it with that froggy, that froggy blade. Spin Doctor? Yes. Yep. I have run it with that. I, I've never run that. I'm just being honest. Um, my stuff is always, you know, dark colored black divers. Yes. But uh, I do know some guys that do run those glow divers, that froggy one. First thing in the morning. Yeah. And I've heard, um, like, guys put crushed tape on them, like yeah. crushed glow tape on them. Um, for just for first thing in the morning, that's the only time they use them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a stealth thing or it's an attractor thing or it's I don't know. And, and that's what Pete went into. Pete Alex went into is mm -hmm. he uses that diver as part of the attractor. Mm -hmm. 
which it could be part of that. Sure. Again, but we have heard that once you get past, I believe it's 70 feet, that um, purple is the last color right. that There's is seen spectrum. in the spectrum yeah. down there. But they said it after like 70, 80 feet, black turns chrome. Yeah. Looks Red, chrome. Now. Reds, purples, blues, blacks yeah. stand out in deeper waters. Yep. Which is, you wouldn't think it would be that way, but that's nope. true. I've seen those studies. And our water also. with being so clear as it is now, I mean, it, it's, I mean, over the last five years, it's gotten very clear. Yeah. I mean, oh, compared yeah. to what it used to be. Oh, without a doubt, the zebra mussels and the, yep. the other mussels have just cleaned it up. Yes. All right. Questions are starting to taper down. So, uh, Dave DeVries said, Thank, great show tonight. Thanks for doing all this. You're very welcome, welcome Dave. Happy to be here. But we can start winding this down. He says, awesome giveaway package also. Let's start winding this down, everybody. Um, first off, Scott, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so Any much time? for letting me come in and, yep. and talk with you. And everybody, again, thanks, Scott, for taking time out of his personal day to come in here and speak with all of you. I know I really appreciate it. I know most of you do as well. It's been a pleasure, guys. I mean, you know, I, you. like I said, if, if any time I do get a chance to get jump on there, I will. Uh, to answer any questions you guys have. And now you know who you're talking to. You got right. to meet Scott. And let's uh, let's try to make this uh, a regular thing, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's maybe, fine. Yeah. Maybe every uh, maybe couple, three, four times a year, I'll yeah. stop down yep. here and uh, we can talk about things, talk about new products. Yeah, products new products, yeah. Yep. And uh, just go over general questions. I'd, I'd yeah, really, that'd be great. I'd really enjoy that, if you don't mind. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, we cool. We can do that. All right, so the giveaway is up and running. As soon as I shut this off, give it five or ten minutes to post. Go and pick a number between one and thousand. You're gonna get Scott's mystery box package special, whatever you want to call it. And I will start talking with the owner of Tangle Tackle, mm -hmm. and we'll maybe we can do like a monthly thing, is something along yeah, those something lines. Yeah, something along that line. Yeah. Um, where it's gonna be beneficial to all of you out there, right? Where you don't have to go and do all the research. Let, let learn from guys like this, um, and all the art charter captains around here. And I'm not gonna throw myself in there because I, I pay respect to everybody that that. Uh, like I mean, guys. there's, you know, I mean, there's guys I've fished with for years. I mean, that uh, they run a lot of these same colors yeah. because they've been around for years. So, yeah, learn, l listen to what, you know, Scott, not, my opinions as well, and the other charter cab, the Dream Weaver in general, you know, let us put something together for you. I think it's really going to help. Yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. Yeah, I do too. All right. Let's get out of here. Thanks again, everybody. Thank hey, you guys very much yeah, don't for forget if you guys you, do for us. Thanks, Scott. Um, don't forget, if you want to check out the merchandise, it's funny stuff. It is. It is, it is really great funny. stuff. <laughs> Go to darkbluecharters.com, click on the merchandise tab, and just click right there. It'll take you right to it. You guys will really get a kick out of it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. See you next Sunday.